Oh, I need to ask. Hey, Jason, what does uh, the title above coming soon mean? It does mean, um, it, it means, uh, actually, let me look at it real quick, so I'm not. It's uh, starting soon or opening soon. All right. Well, that is completely appropriate Indeed. for our very new video game stream, 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 stream. I'm not even. Hi, on stream, everybody. But that's all right. Oh Good shit! Point. Yeah, I don't have you up on the chat part. Um, yeah, Sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, let's see if I can do. Uh, I'll capture this. Now I'm on screen, me in a weather vane. This is the sort of there high impact entertainment the internet has come to expect from us. From the masters of the TSAB. Hey, everybody, it's James Ashby. Thank you for joining us live. And thank you to Chasen for letting me be a special guest on the Anti Chasen Twitch channel. You're uh, always welcome here, everybody James. tonight. Until you're not. <laughs> James has a face. Yeah, I mean, That's we right, tried to hide it from everybody, but, you know, occasionally, occasionally you hear about no the frightened children. You cannot escape the James face, Jason. I will say, when James was in Japan, like children would just stare at him, especially because his mustache. He was doing the thing with the mustache that people often do when they first like start really growing it out, where he would like wax it every single day. So it was like had that that whole like twirly sort of like like uh, um, like nineteen twenties. I've got a bucket of lard Baron. now. Don't. I've got a bucket of lard. At least uh, sent the, the lard. There's a reason coming back. There's a reason why people thought people smelled back in the old days you know it's because they like grew themselves with animal pro like animal products that went bad mm, delicious lard in my mustache mm, silky <laughs> hey wandering mage hey and binks oh i um i i don't think i already did it but i wanted to shout out uh, jay schulter who followed thank you jay schulter go jay schulter welcome to the follow crew uh welcome so also Jason Hilo. So, Jason, I believe we said that we would start this off with some community gaming. Yeah. We've got eight people with us. That is enough for us to get started, and I have a feeling our subs are with us today. Who wants to game with Jason and James who, live on the internet? Who is ready for some Jackbox? I have to say, I still I, I want to share with the audience. Judicius, the welcome. That Thank you, you so much. Judicius, welcome to the stream. Uh, so I just want to share with everybody the game we are about to play uh, in the categories on Twitch is not Jackbox. Why is it is the Jackbox. The Jack. What is that sound? That's the Jackbox. Oh, that's the Jackbox. So that's what is the Jackbox sound like an evil but well, this show? is the, this is the the. Why is it not showing up on the freaking stream? This is okay. Hold on, I need to figure this out. Uh, we thank you all for joining us here for the inaugural. Uh, we haven't actually done a, a, a multiplayer thing yet, so this is new for us on stream. Thank you, everybody, for coming and joining us and hanging out while we get this figured out. We're going to be doing the Jackbox. And then we are featuring three indie games that I am super excited to get to try out. Uh, these were all selected by Chasen out of a bundle that was supporting Black Lives Matter. We have the three that our community chose for us to try out this evening. That is Dungeons and Lesbians, uh, a game about cooking, Cook, Serve, Delicious, two, and uh, the last one is The Mortician's Tale. So I'm really excited. I have not played any of these. In all honesty, I have not really explored indie gaming yeah. for a few years now. So there's a lot out there for me to discover. The Discord has been sharing a ton of options with us that I'm really excited yeah, to get into. Yeah, me too. Into. Apparently gaming has just gotten super weird while I was away, and I love it. So I am super excited <laughs> to share it with you guys. Yeah, I, um, I, I want to note too that I have not played any of uh, uh, any of these indie games either, so we're going to all be going into it together. We're going in deep tonight, going into the weird Jackbox party. Let's get in the Jackbox. All right, so which party, which party do we want to do? We want to do Trivia Murder Party? A serial killer is running an absurd trivia game out of a family-run murder hotel he grew up in. Can you survive? Roll that sounds good. Let's do that. Okay. Dude. All right, James, get your cell phone out. That's how you join this thing. Okay, wait. Oh, my cell phone? Yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, one second. James is so prepared.
Oh, that's right. And Binks, you're right. Maybe I should have. Maybe we should have told James that before he ran off to do whatever he's doing. So, in Binks, point out you can also do it from a desktop browser if you. Sorry. In Binks also. Boom, internet. In Binks also point out. In Binks also point out that you can do it from a desktop browser if you want to. Oh, uh, well, you know, I've got my phone now and I'm browsing so many different things. This will be easier for me to keep uh, an eye on chat. So how do I do this on my phone, Jason? All right. So go to Walk me through. Go to Jackbox. It's really easy. Go to Jackbox.tv. OK, one moment. I should probably use the one that allows cookies, right? Uh, yes. This feels like a cookies thing. Why are none of the cookies ever delicious? All they ever want to do is know what I'm shopping for <laughs> so they can depress me with the smallness of my life. Let's see here. What I was like, is most of the ads I get are for things that I've already bought. It's almost always, you know what it is? It's almost like having the most condescending therapist in the universe who just sort of says, hey, I noticed that you're screwing up by your browsing habits. Uh, stressed out? How about a cheeseburger? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could uh, use okay. a cheeseburger. Okay, yeah, Jackbox.tv. You know, like, Jackbox. It's not the Jackbox? It's no, it's just Jackbox.tv, Jackbox. yeah. Okay, because, I mean, we're going into the Jackbox. I understand. I understand, I understand. Okay. yes. All right, I need the code. Okay. It's connecting right now. We'll have the code in a moment. Um, all right, so it's VRKS. Okay. Oh, wait, what? What is going on? What was it? Wait, oh, 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 I see. All right, uh, so we got three more spots. Anybody else who wants to join? There's Binks. Two more spots. I got it. One more spot. I got in. I got in. Wow. Did you? Woo! Space Demon. I'm Space Demon. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do this barely, thing. I barely got in, man. I, I, had to, I had to scramble on that. I Apparently, I I'm not the one leading this. So some, so I, I guess Kraken is going to have to do... Um, is going is gonna to be the... Kraken. Kraken's the leader on this right, one. The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. I like to imagine that I run the Murder Hotel. Can I play the murderer? No. Well, what if I decide I am the murderer anyway, game? Uh, I mean, you could decide that, I suppose, yeah. Sandbox style. I like to. I don't like linear games. I like to play all games as if they are non-linear, no matter how linear they are. I'm the murderer in this game. Yes, Mbanks, you can play the hotel. Yes, you are the hotel. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. So, how good are you at trivia, James? Welcome. To trivia uh, party. I'll, I'll say Your this. I think it would be appropriate that I am claiming to, to be on the side game. of murderer. <laughs> Only one of you will survive. And I hope that one survivor will keep us in mind for their future vacation needs. Okay, yeah, All right. that's fair. First question. I love these dolls, Which of these by the way. these monsters does not kill anybody? Ooh, okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Use your device to answer the question. Uh, I got it. That means the audience, too. I'm already done. I'm already done. I already beat all of you. I already beat all of you. Jason, you're destroyed. Time's almost stop. Come on, Wandering Mage. You got it. Wandering Mage. You can do it. You can do it, Wandering Mage. Just just choose to die. That's all you got to do. The correct answer is... Who got the question right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. The Babadoo. The rest of you, come with me. My, my, my. Bye bye, Defector Owen. Hey, Minutesman, mister. See you next time. <laughs> okay, this one is more of an experience. Ooh, an experience? I get gifts? One person's family. No, Defector Owen Binks. Person's punishment. Oh. Pick a box and keep what's inside. <laughs> Beware the one with the prettiest paper. Uh-oh. 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 That's oh, which one's the prettiest hat. paper? I want you to wear it. Well, Father, you're back. And this time, I'm the one in charge. So I'm going to eat I love candy this. for dinner, and you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Defectro. Only one of you can survive you know this what? game. And who knows? Oh, I think Defectro's the still audience. in it, maybe. Hey, audience. Maybe. Good luck Are you out dead there. yet, Defectro? I feel like you might be dead. You've you at least got the, the hat of Doom on. It's like super low press. Do, 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 do. 
There's next round. Let's try another All right. One. How was Lady Gaga's I'm feeling very cocky now. I feel Hall like I'm unbeatable. Fan? Do you know the answer to this one, James? Oh, crap. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, my phone closed. Oh, no. Uh, the... I mean, this is oh, pure no. guess on my part. I, you know. I'm going to say, I'm going to say this one. I'm going with this one. Time's running out. I'm not going to say which one, though, because I'm in it to win it. Yeah, I'm exactly. Exactly. Is it healthy, right? Nope, yes. I got it wrong. Which one is it? It's dry. Oh, Look no! at the screen. The rest of you, and as an act of revenge, my father. Oh, 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 oh Defectro. Oh. Poor Defectro. Oh, no. Oh, no. The room. Let's see who has yes, ESP. The, the jerky dress, Second I feel like, would be a little more standard. This category. Ooh. Everyone else will answer, Wait. too. And if anyone matches you, you die. What? <laughs> if anyone matches you, you die. One of the and first ten presidents. Anyone. Oh crap! Uh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh oh oh! Uh, I'm gonna die. Well, you're not in it. I think it's. I think it's only the two in there that die if anybody matches them. Oh good. Then you're going to die. <laughs> it's funny because I'm not the one experiencing the pain. Here we go. Here we go. Is it gonna be? You didn't answer. That's unforgivable. Oh! Anyway. Wow. Hey, let's see what everyone else did. Oh wait, I did answer. Ooh. Oh good. Someone actively contributed to you being oh. murdered. Oh. What? Oh no! We dead? Listen, we're just dead. because you're dead we're doesn't all mean that dead. has to leave the game. You have a will on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to leave it to someone who really deserves it. But you have to do it oh, no. right now. Oh no, oh no. Am I dead? I think I we're think dead. dead, yeah. Oh my goodness! You're back. I was slaughtered before the my time! The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing, what? and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Ooh. Don't worry, Perfect. when a player holding one of my family heirlooms dies, they can fill out a will. They left a cherished <laughs> possession to you. Everyone leave thoughtful. their stuff to James. To James! Yeah, we got mur everybody got murdered first in that round. Moving. When first introduced uh, as a college entrance exam in 1946, what did awesome. the SAT stand for? <laughs> Two separate videos. Oh, videos. Here we go, here we go. Um, oh, oh, wait. Am I playing? I didn't look at my phone. You are, yes. I, oh, wait. Ah, oh, no. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm gonna say, oh, wait. No, I'm wrong. Oh, I chose the wrong thing, I think. I jumped. I chose the wrong thing. I'm going to die, Chase. Oh, wait. I'm already dead. This. Oh, I got it wrong, too. Oh. One of you is still alive. And let's not forget okay. about my father. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something. Uh-oh. Here we go. It's time for some pegging. Okay, um, if I say that out loud, it does sound weird. <laughs> pegging in the jackpot. <laughs> You're going to drop down pegging in the jackpot. and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Hey, you. Pick the landing slots that kill. I picked one. Don't land in the uh -oh. one that I picked. Uh, wait, do I get to pick one? Oh, I do. I picked one too. Who knows which one? Ooh. Oh, I guess now you know which one. Well, I guess it's. Oh, Let never mind. I uh, picked six as well. Pick a spot to drop from. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, Mr. Oh, Slippery. Mr. Slippery. Uh oh, you're both dead! Doom, 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 doom! You hit the doom bell! Is everybody dead now? I think we're all dead. It may be, it may be uh, time to think about the uh, the you're game for the evening. You're all dead already? <laughs> what the heck, guys? Whoa, that was crazy. I guess the universe really wants you to get to the final round because you did <laughs> that last horrible mistake. Don't <laughs> uh, is it literally just nerfing it so we can see the last question. round? Yeah. 
You said what losers. Three regions make up Great what? What? See, this one isn't U.S. centric. It's just yeah, white people centric. It's just a, the only the only international trivia Americans know. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, I know this, but it's not giving me a choice. So. I I don't know if I got it right. I think I'm gonna die again. Why is everybody else being able to answer, but I can't? This sucks. You can't answer? Oh, you're gonna die, buddy. This. You gotta answer. It wouldn't let me. You're stuck Whoops. in my truck. I got it wrong. Father. How did I get it wrong? I'm so smart. Time for but consequences. Uh-oh. I don't want consequences. I really live my life avoiding consequences. It's math. You what would not do well in this games. section anyway, James. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Oh, no. No. Absolutely not. If oh, but we are gonna play it. You, oh, excellent! Loves math so much, you get to multiply large numbers together. Oh, great! Let's oh, go. All right. Wait. What? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, you got. Shit. Is, is I, oh, there we are. Oh, no. I'm pro. Ah, nothing more fun than watching someone do basic math. Uh oh, uh oh, Mr. Slippery, Wandering Mage is coming ahead of you. I have to tell you that we are doing basic this addition while you're doing high level ma multiplication, so it is unfair. Wildly so. But here we go, you're still, you're drifting. Drifting! Oh no, I guess Mr. you Slippery. plus math equals dead. A bloodbath! You, that you get, dance. Mr. Binks, you uh, M. Binks, you, you're getting dragged in because you have the hat. That's right, Mr. Vinks, you have the head. Boo, all right, I think that's it. I think that's our community game for now. We need to jump in. Yeah. We have a lot yeah. to cover tonight. We will be playing uh, We will be playing Jackbox again at the end of the stream, so stick around for the end if you want to play some more. Yes, we will be playing more. I'm going to let people know we're starting. Uh, is it what, which, one, which one's first, Jason? We're on your stream. You are the master. Of um, the I think we're going to do Dungeons and Lesbians first because I'm really looking forward to that one. Dungeons and Lesbians! All right, I will let people know uh, that we are doing it. Doing the Dungeons and Lesbians. Do, 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 do. Really cool. I have to say, man, like, I didn't know that this strata of game really existed. You know, when you sent the list of games, I went through and looked at them because I was looking for art to promote. Yeah. Uh, and just seeing kind of the culture around them, these small kind of indie games where you get to tell interesting stories. I, I'm really excited to for the education, in all honesty. I have no idea what this is going to take us. I, let's see here. Look, right now, it's going to take us to trying out this cool new game. Jason, you're in charge of the ones and twos. I'm working on it. Oh, let's see what the chat is saying. I want to hear more. Uh, no one won. Good start. <laughs> that's correct. Uh, the net imp. Uh, Defector, that game was brutal. Uh, that's not the jack played before. Are there a lot of jackboxes? Because it called itself the... Yeah, it was... Box. No, that's um the sixth the sixth one. Wandering Mage, you did have the most money from it. Well done. Uh, community intro. Games complete. Time for some Dungeons and Lesbians. I'm really glad our audience is our audience, or I have a <laughs> feeling like, like, you know, if we had like a douchier audience. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like, sour. if we had a douchier audience, I wouldn't be streaming, so. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't want to hang out. It is, it is pleasant to like your audience. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Points right, for I'm going to send that to everyone. Oh, uh, I also want to point out uh, one thing, guys. Um, I added a new community challenge to the to the uh, uh, to the couch coins. If you look at your couch coins, you see Chasen sings and dances. <laughs> yes, yes. What, what do we have to hit for you to have to sing and dance? One hundred thousand points. One hundred. Th what, what is a point cost? Is it like a dollar? Because that's insane. no, 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 no. The, this is not money. It's a, you. You accumulate points by viewing the stream and participating. Subs get more points. I believe you also get bonus points for for um, gifting subs and uh, and uh, donating bits. Oh, so nice. far we have two thousand raised, so two percent out of our hundred thousand goal. You guys have thirty days to get to this hundred thousand goal. Oh, 30 days. Okay, I think we can do that. I feel like we have the power. We have the technology. Yeah. Uh, part of that 
everybody, audience out there, in order to get us there, we're going to have to make things super exciting. And I think one way to do that that would be great this evening, if there's a part of the stream that you find particularly funny or engaging or entertaining, help us pick out some highlights and I'll help promote those over Yeah, yeah, please do, uh, yeah. And also, I just think it'll be fun for people who miss this live stream to get a little taste of it uh, on the Discord and, and other places. So help us out, pick some things, and maybe you'll end up with a cookbook or some digital DVDs or, or who knows what. I don't know. I'm a space demon from beyond time. I just come up with stuff. There's no predicting me. Not even I can do that. Uh, yeah, I also want to point out, let's see if it's showing up. It is not showing up. I tr I've been trying to enable the... Um, oh, yeah, so... Um, I have enabled sound alerts, um, so if you're if you're viewing on the PC or I think on uh, on mobile too, there should be a sound alerts button if you hover over the Twitch uh, streaming window, um, and uh, you can play songs on. Uh... Ooh, oh, you know what? No, cool. I see what's going wrong. Um, I have not configured it correctly. Um, so let me see if I can do that. Um, add brow. I uh, will. We'll, we'll figure it out another time. So ignore, <laughs> ignore the, ignore the, the sound alerts for now, and I will get that going a different time. So uh, in, in ignoring those sound alerts, Jason, you've noticed you've missed that we have had two make me dabs uh, come in. One All right. And one wandering mage. I, you know, I'm disappointing you guys for spending your money on this instead of the community goal. But okay. So what are you saying? How do you dab? Is it like uh, that? Is that a dab? And then another one dab. Dab. That's how you dab, oh, well, right? Well, okay, good, that's good, correct. good. Okay. I, that's I actually like that may be my first time ever actually dabbing. Um, I refused <laughs> to do it uh, on Milky's stream before because she dabs whenever she gets a follower, and then she tried to get me to do it. And while I'm normally perfectly happy to participate in her streams, something about dabbing just oof. oof. No, did it feel? Did it feel slimy? Did it, it feel does, kind of like it, uh, it feels? Kids? Yeah, yeah. It definitely gives me that sort of Steve Buscemi sort of Hello Kids vibe. <laughs> Uh, you've also, to Kraken, oh. has redeemed a hydrate. Uh, a hydrate, my friend. Kraken, um, can I get confirmation that drinking my uh, Zone Firewall Gamer Fuel counts as hydrating? It feels like no and yes all at the same time. <laughs> well, I've only got a little bit left, so I need. I, I am. If we're gonna get more hydrates, I'm gonna have to go get some more, some more uh, drink. It is not, it a, is sponsor, not a sponsor. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, I should message them and see if see if they will sponsor. To Kraken says and no. Thank you, Damn it. Okay. Water only, you monster. Let me finish that off, and I will be right back. Let me go get some water, then. W water is for dignity. That's right. Well, I, uh, what do you mean looks like some cartoonishly evil character? I am a space demon from beyond time, a multidimensional creature come to redeem the internet through fire. How is everybody tonight? Thank you so much, chat, for coming and hanging out with us this evening. We are really, really excited to get going with this new idea. Uh, I think that Jason has the preferences up, so we're going to be starting Dungeons & Lesbians here very momentarily, just as soon as Jason, who apparently is 50% gamer fuel drink, gets some actual water thanks to the caring audience that has paid him to finally put some in his mouth. Aratiti, there's nothing wrong with a long day filled with beer and whiskey, but yes, you should hydrate afterwards or you're going to have a bad day tomorrow. It can be very long. Yeah, I, I feel like you can't really be too drunk for this stream. I would embrace the drunk stream. If you have, you know, more booze, I'd go more booze. That's me. Jason. James. All right. You've sipped your water. You've refreshed with fluids. Let me turn on my you air conditioner as well. Drink. Oh, that's probably smart. And now, now, it is time for Dungeons and Lesbians. James, have you been forcing people in my chat to drink? I haven't, I, I you know, what? who knows? Who knows what happens <laughs> when you go? Look, 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 you are here to take care of your audience. And if you leave, you leave them in the hands of the space demon. That's on you, okay? What happens when you go, you just pay for it when you get back. <laughs> Okay, let's just... <laughs> All right, let's start with some Dungeons and Lesbians. So this looks like it's it's like mostly a game about a group of young women in college that are playing D&D &D and also in like incestuous relationships with each other yeah. while playing D&D. &D. Yeah, and let's, let's make sure we define, given the current state of the internet, that by incestuous, James means uh, like sleeping around in your own social circle. 
<laughs> oh god oh god <laughs> Have we gotten to that point? Have we gotten to the point where people are like, I bet he means sister? Well, Dubai it's just really? like, it's just because it's like the most popular porn out there. You know, it's. Uh, how is that possible? That has to be. I feel like, like, to me, the fact that that could be the case is one of the stronger arguments for some sort of weird social conditioning or experimentation. Well, the so, so the, oh. the explanation I read about it is that the, um, the only people who pay for porn anymore are the absolute weirdos. And so uh, the like, what porn gets made is driven by the the few people who pay for it. Oh no, we need to we need to come up with a an arts council grant for pornography. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hilo, that's actually a pretty normal use of the word incestuous. At least it used to be. I don't know if it is anymore. It's the only porn with any damn plot. Well, but the plot is—it actually is true. I want to do my se- sexy sister. Well, it's not like, like you want like a like a deep involved plot in your porn, but you know sometimes you want just want like at least a little bit of story in there, you know, so that like it's not um, none of which is. Hey, mom, you're looking hot today. Hey, not step even a step mom. One of those. Step mom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Step mom. Right. Right. Tobacco water pipe and step mom. Okay, so the one thing that does make me a little cautious about this game, although I want to clarify that I'm very excited by it, is that the um, the game page on it said um, that it, it has a lot of like 2018 Tumblr references, and so I feel How like well, I feel like a lot of it's going to go over my head because I have actively avoided Tumblr, even though I've been very Tumblr adjacent for most of my adult life. It was since Tumblr's you know been what, around. Though? We are also old guard internet. I feel like it's going to be kind of like uh, reading French when you already know Latin. Yeah, you know exactly. Saying? Exactly. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be stuff like yeah, we've heard I'd... before. It'll be familiar, but like, yeah. Well, we'll see. Or like the context of it. I'll know if they're being sarcastic. Kraken. Kraken. No, Kraken. Okay. It was a fake. It was a fake link. I checked it. I, that was a risky okay. click. Risky <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me ban people from 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 posting URLs, Kraken. <laughs> 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 you don't you don't you don't go straight to the nuclear option either. <laughs> or people talking about bad links. Here's the thing that you haven't carved out of your brain since you were 16. <laughs> All right, let's start the game. Um hello hero. It's good to see you. You will enter a world of swords and sorcery where giant lizard things think thievery and regicide is a good idea. You know, these days I kind of right. think thievery and regicide is a pretty damn good idea. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting settled in already. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you what it looks like. Don't question why you look like that. Okay, I won't. It's time to name yourself. What's your name? What should we name ourselves? I like that the default oh, name man. is. I like the default name is MC. That, that makes that, I appreciate that. Um, uh, Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Uh, anti chasing No! 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 How about um? And- uh, no, we need something appropriately Tumblrina. How about um? If we take the Kraken's idea of Jessica, we'll do um Jessica spelled with a K. Star f- like it. Fucker. Jessica Star. Fu- wait! 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 You're throwing down the. All right. You know what? No, you're right. Let's do it. Jessica Star. Fucker. <laughs> Let us begin. Let us begin the grand tale. Of I do. Jessica's you know, story. actually, I have to say, um, uh, I kind of like um, um, uh, Abel's recognition of Zaddy for the first name. Ooh, that is good for. That is a very Whoops, Tumblr-y I mean, name. I like it. Tumblr, if you're listening, uh, we only have love. There are SNBC theater gifts on Tumblr from way back in the day, especially Battleship Kathy, actually. So should we be uh, she, her, or they, them? Oh man. Um, Hmm. What kind of lesbian are we, Jason? Um, what kind of lesbian are you? I think with the name Zaddy Starfucker, we are definitely a they them. I buy that. Yeah. I buy that for yeah. sure. Yes, Dayonit says we're a they them. That feels right to yeah. me. Welcome, Zaddy Starfucker. God, I'm gonna love saying that this whole stream. The thing is, the world has always been one that longs for a hero. What's a hero? Someone who fills the world with change and splendor. Ooh, sorry. That um um, zone firewalls okay. coming come back your, up is, on me. Is your, is your, spa, is your sponsor uh, choking your screen? Gamer fuel for when you need to go. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Judicius is right. It's it's the water. It's too much water. When you can't choke, burp. Gamer fuel. Someone who fills the world with chains and splendor, with courage and love in their hearts. But remember, a hero is in one person, 
No man is an island, or so they say. I might recommend for you to build up your relationships, be in touch with your heart, so you can touch others. In other words, be as gay as your heart desires, you funky little lesbian. You're getting what you paid for. Ventured wow, thus, uh, interesting. Yeah. I like the intro. Ventured thus into the world and let your heroic tales unfold. All right. Let's do it, Jason. It's time for us to be heroic lesbians. Up. Level. Move your cursor. It's on the middle of the screen. Okay, where do you want me to move it? Not the middle of the screen. You... Great, slightly to the right. That's great. Thank you. That's perfect. That's, no, it's way better now. It's totally fixed. <laughs> You've arrived. Heck yeah, final boss. Um, yeah, Starfucker. What? I'm not prepared for a final boss. Starfucker is definitely not going to say shh language. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> it would be, well, how hypocritical is Starfucker? <laughs> Heck yeah. Whoa. Well, maybe their parents named them Starfucker and they resent it. And it's possible. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, we're a bard. Okay. Don't copy me, you nerd. All right, all right. Shut it. It's my turn. I mean, Lena's going to continue. Thanks, Rafi. <clears throat> so you've all come to the end of your journey. Flames roar all about you, trapping you in a cage of heat and noise. Whoa! Unnaturally high if you're one of the mill forest fires. Those ain't no ordinary flames. They're magic ones cast by the very evil sorcerer. Yes, the one right in front of you now. You mere nope. fools. What? Sorry, James. Did you, you know what this reminds me of a little bit? What? The opening of Big. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, do you want to do the, uh, the, the some old dude voice, James? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here we go. You mere fools. You are foolish fools to think you could ever defeat I, Prozac the Powerful. <laughs> the very evil sorcerer cackles, raising his staff high in the sky, your obvious defeat, or so it seems. And Mr. Slippery, thank you for the follow. All right, sorry. Bing, 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 bing. Um, hold it, fiend. A literal knight in shining, shining armor. The tank of your party rises, basically blinding you in her glory. For nice. aeons, you've reigned aeons of terror. <laughs> aeons of terror, <laughs> pushing the innocence of this land into um, a reign of terror. <laughs> well, no more. My trusty fellow allies of trust shall vanquish thee. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, wait, sorry. Wait. I'm supposed to be old man. Share the screen on Discord. I'm doing it on Twitch, so it's on a slight delay. Okay. Uh, I am sharing it. Oh, that's I switched games. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, ba bum. Her heart rending speech strikes a chord in all your hearts. You, her trusty ally of trust, cannot simply stand mute. Mute. Can you see it now, James? Yeah, I'm on now. Okay. Good. Nice to hear the music. Which is nice too. Uh, uh, yeah, um, hold on. Ah, uh, there we are. Um, you too shakily get to your feet and look at the very, look the very evil sorcerer in the eyes. All right. So I cruel foe, for too long have God's mercy kept thee on this land. Thou shalt taste foolish fall as thou, uh, fail and stuff. Do you have a Do donkey? You have a donkey? <laughs> Cause we're here to kick your ass or whack. I think, uh, do you have a donkey? I definitely think, I like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, Hilo definitely has that vibe of it will be deadly vengeance of deadly revenge, vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> what? what eloquent words! As expected of a bard, inspired by your poetry, the remaining member of your party too scrambles to a stand. With newfound, unfamiliar val valiantness, she points an accusing. <laughs> Shut up. She points an accusing <laughs> finger at the very evil sorcerer. Determination burning in her eyes, she opens her mouth, capturing the full attention of the enemy. I, I have no part in this. I'm actually just in it for the money. In fact, she offers ten gold to attack your party instead. Oh, <laughs> um, villainy! I think I know which character the Kraken is. This is, or this is either a uh, uh, Kraken, or even though he's not here, which I guess makes it actually better. Um, is a uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you for following Munificent Mr. H. Welcome. All right. Silence reigns across the dungeon. The sorcerer ponders the business offer. What 
is this crap? <laughs> this is your chance. You throw the dank guitar at the sorcerer while he's distracted. This is your chance. You throw your dank guitar at the asshole hunter while she's distracted. I'm always Second down. One. I'm always down for a little party infighting. It's more fun. Darn, well, especially if they've just uh, offered to sell you out. I think you know you don't want them walking away. Exactly. Are you Henry the Eighth? Because you sure are executing those perfect ideas as soon as they come. Yeah, the Kraken definitely is. Sika would definitely, definitely do that. Ow! You needed about half of the asshole's life. Good yeah. job, asshole destroyer. Well, that sounded wrong. Wait, asshole destroyer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let, out of the jackpot, Jason. Let me crank up James's volume a little bit. How do I do that? Um, here we are. Ba -ba -bum. All right, James, can you talk a little bit now? I can talk every way I talk. I talk the walk. I walk the talk. Hilo. How are you doing? I talk the walk. How is that? Hilo. Can you hear me? Hilo. Can you hear? You stare Hilo. coldly at the metaphorical blood on your hands. <laughs> That's just premature. We haven't heard that title mm -hmm. yet. <laughs> yeah, Hilo says we're good. All right. right. You have no regrets. But you do shed a tear for dank guitar sacrifice. The very evil sorcerer himself looks very confused. In fact, he hurts himself in, the, in his confusion. The, oh, the very evil sorcerer very falls to... <laughs> we should figure out who's doing which voices, James. You stay on it or I cut you off. Okay, I was staying on it. You're like literally talking <laughs> over me. Okay, how about this? I'm going to do the narrator and the and the, and the the um, the good guy's voices. You do any bad guy's voices. How's that? Okay, you got it. Done. Deal. The very evil sorcerer falls to his knees. Now, it's just time for the final blow. The paladin raises her brave sword, the hunter her bow, and you have nothing after smashing your dank guitar, so you, you really don't do anything. With a flash of blinding light, the evil ruler of this land is no more. Finally, the evil has been defeated. The dungeon is quiet. The roaring of the magical flames extinguish along with the sorcerer's defeat. The adventure, the quest you've all spent together, is over. Whoa. This land shall suffer under his iron fist of cruelty no more, thinking that should clear your hearts. But for some reason, you feel a sense of emptiness within you. Have you ever felt that sense that something is missing? Like there's a hole inside of you you have to fill. This empty yes. feeling, you know what fill it is. Donuts. Donuts. It's donuts. A hunger. <laughs> what? What? I think nod knowingly. Nod knowingly. <laughs> We're taking a break. I want sandwiches. Ignoring your friends. Oh, it is like a D and D grade. Yeah. <laughs> Ignoring your friends' protest, your GM strolls le leisurely into her kitchen. The D and D session can't really continue without her here, so you just stew in silence. Mm -hmm. well, well, I was getting a bit tired. It's due for a break. Er. Having become so interested in D and D lately, you and your friends have been pretty into this nerd crud. I like that you missed my Mr. H. Asshole destroyer and the holes needing to be filled. <laughs> I like Defectro. The thing is, we were bad all along inside yes. our hearts. The evil, the evil the, was within yeah. you all along. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, what had you decided to name your character? Give your character a very cool name. Um, Ooh, mm. Fuck pants. No. Mm. Uh, uh, well, you had it. You're a bard, right? So it's got to be like a rock star kind of name. Yeah. Um, you gotta have some, uh, uh, Groovaton, Groovinator, Groovo. I'm great with titles. Twinifer the Chase. No. Um, how about, uh, you know, I, I, I'm still thinking through the, you know, the character that we're building here. Um, how about something like... Um, I mean, this is more of a good band name than a than a character name, but since it's a bard, it might work. Uh, Unicord uh, Menstruation Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, I'm down. Let's see if it would. Uh, no, Chad, chat, well, what, what do you what do you guys right. think of that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Unicorn mm. Menstruation Nightmare. Uh, the name of our for what was the name? Zinka. Fuck something uh zika starfucker zika starfucker <laughs> jay schulter says oh 
Wandering Mage says, not a character name so much. And Defectro says, that's bad. No. This is looking. Zaddy, that's right. Zaddy said, uh, fine, fine, fine. No unicorn administration <laughs> nightmare. Um, We've been overruled. Yeah. Yeah, but Starfucker is the name of our. Uh, yeah, but that's the name of a. Uh, of that's her actual name. That would make that would oh, make right. our character kind of un un uncreative, you know. Um, oh, true, true. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, how about um, Chasen? Chasen. What if it was Anti Chasen? That's the name. Nobody knows what Anti Chasen means. It's a great name. Good, cool character name. I love it. Anti Chasen. Type it in. Type it in. Ooh, I kind of like. Uh, I kind of like that Kraken. I'm ignoring James right now. Uh, Jane the <laughs> Jane the Unremarkable. <laughs> I like Jane the Unremarkable. I will allow that. It's it's almost as good as my suggestion, which was better. All right. Yeah. No. <laughs> nice. All <of> that time. <laughs> yeah. No. You actually named your character Sir Swigger, Swagger Balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, to be fair, if if someone in chat has suggested Sir Swagger Balls, I would have jumped on that because that's amazing. That is a good name. It's a better name. The star of that teenage girl literature, Sir Swagger Balls. <laughs> Sir Swagger Balls yeah, is Sir a cool Swagger name. Balls. Yeah. Now that is what that's what I'm talking about. Anyways, you suddenly get a very particular and strong desire to introduce your friends to yourself. You wonder briefly why ever you would feel this urge. It's so unfamiliar with them already, but whatevs. Um, let's think, oh, let's think, odd. let's find out something about ourselves. There we go. That's you, a singy boy. Also known as the bard, the adventure poet, and completely useless. You feel it reflects your true soul. It's your first time with D&D, but you've already concluded that the singy boy is the best class objectively. <laughs> Who cares if you had zero attack or defense points? You got to seduce everything. Actually... This character, did they model this character? Is this like a a, a lesbian version of like me? Because this is I'm exactly saying, how I play D and D. I'm having flashbacks to some high school no, sessions. No, no, I was some... I was always the bard. It was me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like you chase and be like, I am the most charming. That is my skill. Yeah, oh, exactly, so exactly. Well, being the you only one of us I that say. wasn't a girl who could talk to girls. <laughs> Whatever. I could. I was allowed to talk to girls. It just didn't go well. <laughs> your little doodle of dank guitar brings nostalgia tears to your eyes. Uh, All right. Let's think about the paladin. Uh, Kraken, you're absolutely right. It is like like my wizard Brickham's child. That sounds right. <laughs> the paladin is run by Raffi over there. She's the sweetest girl you ever met. Once she gave you an entire bowl of sweets. Sure, there's a bowl mixed with m and Skittles, and tiny rocks that look like sweets, but it's the thought what? that counts. Wait, was that the paladin or the person playing the that, paladin? That's the person, the, the, pa it's the person playing the paladin. The person playing the paladin is a sociopath. Uh, let's think about the hunter. We got to keep an eye on that paladin lady, though, because, you know, if you're mixing rocks in with Skittles, you're looking to hurt somebody. Well, I think, I think the idea is that they're just kind of an airhead. Okay, all right. No, that's willful. They're they're the Sith Lord. You know, Judge or Binks with the Sith Lord. Did you did you hear that? I heard that. In in Binks, exactly. um, I had like so many other personality flaws that it it, it kind of nullified any advantage that talking to girls in high school brought me. Uh, <laughs> uh, neither of us had really mastered the showering. Yeah, thing the showering level. thing. Uh, the the whole like when you do talk to girls, don't say weird shit. That part I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me explain my most weird interest. That's conversation point number one. Do you also collect ships and bottles? I never because collected ships and bottles. Unpacked. They build them in the bottles. That's how they get them in there. It's not, there's no magic involved. They just, every little piece gets put in the bottle individually. And then there's a ship in a bottle. Yeah. Is what they, do. why yeah. are you leaving? Okay, James, you can, you can, you can stop now. It's, it's fine. Yeah, All right, pick. in Binks, we're, we're still trying to teach James about the showering thing. Absolutely not. <laughs> we're in quarantine. Who am I showering for? My son? I'm teaching him the importance of organic scents. <laughs> oh, God, your patchouli phase. Don't fucking remind me. Patchouli is just <laughs> as good as bathing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. Totally is. It works. <laughs> it's better eh, because it, it helps keep the natural oils in your skin. 
uh, right there on the surface, you know, where everyone can can kind of see them. Yeah. Kind of feel them. Okay, so we're going to think about the hunter now. The hunter is run by the gremlin over there. Her name is Gwyn. The wandering mage. Sorry, the wandering mage. You're also, I think, a little younger than us. There was actually, this was something Zach and I noticed in Comic-Con about like the early 2000s. The shift in nerd culture where it went from unbathed sort of malcontent men to uh, unbathed of both genders for a little while. And now cool kids like nerdy stuff. Well, to be it fair, is, our friend so group in high school was almost half girls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we definitely. I mean, to girls. be fair, we had it was not a. Girls. It was we not. not date. Yeah. Well, Zach did. Zach did, but uh, it, otherwise we were deemed undateable friends. Yeah. Let's say. Yeah. Well, I mean, at that, so. at, that, at that point in time, yeah, Angel yeah, was only interested in older guys. So. That's true. Angel was mostly only into older guys. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, our friend group wasn't big. It was like five people, but two of them were girls. That's right. That's right. Ratio. Her name is Gwen, and she's small. You have a long, deep-seated desire to throw down with her once and for all. Hmm. Hmm. Do I sense a little romantic tension there? Uh, She's your, Oh, there's okay. definitely some romantic tension there. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's your sworn enemy. That's the bard? The we hunter. Hit? We're the bard. Hunter. Yes, right. it's the hunter. The hunter is the one we hit. Okay, game master. The campaign is run by Lena, who just went into her kitchen. She's what you call cool and aloof. Maybe a bit of a mom friend since she got her own place. That's where you're at now. She always chides us for leaving milk out in the open. You also suspect she is secretly a genius. Uh, okay. Think about she that. Got her own place. Oh, yeah. There's a random dude in the background. Oh, that's Jim. What? Jimothy. Just another ordinary boy. Say hi to Jimothy. Yes. What? Yeah, I guess so. You say hi, inwardly, hoping your thoughts reach his ordinary heart. It totally did. Okay, all right. I want to maybe continue what I was doing, which was not introducing people. <laughs> <laughs> sure, fine, whatever. You return to your boring life full of not introducing. In your stupor, you realize that most of your friends have moved off to different sides of the room, eager to explore Lena's new house. Um, talk to Gwen at the okay, table. Okay. I want to talk to Wasn't Gwen. Is that a sociopath? Yeah, no. Um, is that no? The, I think Rafi is a sociopath. Gwen, I think, is the small hunter. Oh, yeah. Totally go talk to Gwen. That's clearly the one that we're most into. Yeah. Although cool and aloof, I do like that. So maybe Lena afterwards. Oh, Frostbent. You, su you subbed? We missed it. That's on me. What? I'm sorry. What? Was... what? No. When did you sub? You didn't sub. Oh, you did. You uh, are a sub, but when did you sub? I don't see the notification anywhere. Did you do it on stream, Frostman, or did you do it before the stream? Either way, thank you. Yeah, you've been sub for two months, Frostman. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. Uh, you just subbed now. Well, I don't what have a notification about months? it, so I'll just thank you anyway. Thank you, Frostman. <laughs> I appreciate you. We believe you, Frostbin. We also don't trust the platforms, uh, and we do appreciate all of the subs. Now talk to Gwen. We gotta, we gotta, you know. Yeah, yeah. Talk to Gwen. We gotta cuddle up. Return, approach, spin break with Gwen. Um, I guess approach. I guess approach. All right. You hit me with your guitar. Why did you do oh, that? Right. You had it coming. Ugh. You don't regret your guitar smashing one bit. All right, I want to approach all of them just to see, get a little bit more sense of their personality. Although I'm definitely, obviously, leaning towards Gwyn right now. Right, right. No, I understand. Look, you don't. You need to play the field, Jason. You're young. You need exactly, to exactly. Figure out who who fits you. Make small talk. Small talk. What are you doing? This is the murderer. Oh, nothing yet. I feel like I should read Raffi because she's evil. Okay. <laughs> Say, have you watched Infinity's Wars yet? No. Captain Iron dies. <laughs> you no longer want to make small talk with Raffi. Okay, you're right. Definitely sociopath. Very much sociopath. Good call. Good call on that. Um, although that does make her a little bit more interesting to me. When I thought she was just nice, I was less interested. <laughs> that's not. That's a. That's a statement on you. That's a statement on you, buddy. Follow Lena into that the kitchen. That is not how that's supposed to work. Oh, you're you're bad for me. Okay. Uh, what you doing? 
I don't think this will waste my break. We'll see, whatever. What you doing? Making sandwiches. Wanna help? You can, you can help Alina, then hang out with others within your break time. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, let's help out. Of course. Could be a good guest, right? Yeah. I may be a star fucker, but I'm not an asshole. Yeah. You go to somebody's house, you help do the dishes. That's just, that's rules. You start helping out. What a nice house guest you are. You decide to criticize Lena's pants to even it out. <laughs> I've said this already, but your pants are terrible. Hey, my house, my rules. She gives a cool shrug. It is so cool, the room temperature instantly falls by 10 degrees Celsius. Damn, maybe she secretly is a genius. Odd by her sheer coolness, you only realize after a while the sheer number of sandwiches you're making. Oops. Whoa, that's... That's a lot. Hey, under the couch! Under the couch is here, James. Under the couch! Hey, 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 hey! Thank you for coming and joining us this evening. We're trying Dungeons and Lesbians right now. The next game will be Cook, Serve, Delicious, which we'll be switching to in eight minutes. It's for everyone, too. That's really nice of you. Lena looks a little pleased as she finishes up the stack of sandwiches. I'm not really. I'm just used to taking care of my twin brother. I was always the more mature one. No wonder. I'm kind of curious as what you were like as a child, actually. I still have pictures. I'll show you if we have time. I'll, let, I'll take the sandwiches to the table. Could you help me put the milk back in the fridge so the milk babies don't die? <laughs> milk babies? I'm not sure what that means either. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the milk babies. They die milk. if you don't put them back in the fridge. That's why milk tastes bad when you leave it out, you know? Lena chides you, you gently as she leaves you in abject confusion and more confusion. Hold, milk hold. babies? So did they, milk is milk babies? babies a Tumblr thing? I feel like it might be a Tumblr thing. I don't know, maybe. We'll Could it be Lena's dung? Ha! Huh. No, 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 no way, no way, no way. No way, you say. But the mystery nags at your mind. There's no way she's actually not smart, right? Mystery of Lena added. Oh, is your friend dumb? All right, first quest. All right, say hi to Jimothy. You call it Jimothy, who's watching TV. Hey, hi. Jimothy goes back. I agree, Judas. Uh, sandwich. Nobody sandwiches with D and D. Uh, the hierarchy is pizza, then burritos, then cookies. Uh, Look, yeah, I think if I think somebody, chips, I gotta put chips in there. If if somebody makes me sandwiches while I'm playing D and D, I will not complain. I love me a good That's sandwich. True. Like I'm, I'm not like sandwiches are great. Oh, is Jimothy Lena's twin brother? I don't know. Mm. Hmm. Anyway, away with you, Jimothy. All right. Um, I think uh, let's spend our break with Gwen. Yeah, absolutely. Gwyn is fiddling on her phone, furiously typing something. You vaguely catch some photos flash past her screen. You have time to sit down and figure out what she's doing before hanging out with others within your break time. Should I do just that? Yeah. You take your back, you seat back at the table. Gwyn glares at you, or stares curiously. You can never really tell. She's into you. As soon as your eyes glance over, the phone screen turns black. Ugh. How dare she try and protect her privacy by turning her phone off? What was that? It's nothing! Go back to being a nerd! Yeah, yeah, you nerd. You're the nerd! I think, uh, I nerd. think you're the nerd, yeah. I'm not That's a nerd! Not you're the nerd! You are! Um. Your face is a nerdier nerd! Stop yelling, you two. We just finished playing oh, D&D. You both are nerds. Yeah, that's a good point. I think I think Raffi has a point here. Evil, but you know. No, so uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it? I don't think it was Raffi who was the 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 um person who put a. Was it Raffi? Ah, I forget. I'm not, yeah, Raffi's totally the Skittles lady. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's the name of the uh the the GM the the person who owns the house? Lena. That's right, Lena. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Under Raffi's infinite wisdom, you enter a grudging truce can't believe you smashed your guitar. It was your dank guitar. You generally correct her that the correct term is dank guitar. Anyways, didn't you love that thing? Hmm. Hmm. It was worth it. It was worth 
Yeah, you don't want to... I feel like the air guitar choice kind of dismisses the importance of a dank guitar. Yeah, you know? Smashing my head? You mm-hmm. inform me that that is correct. That is correct. Oh, you're on, asshole. Gwen opens her mouth to say more, but is distracted by a ping on her phone. This is your chance. You may be a complete idiot with two remaining brain cells, but you do have a sharp eye for chances. What are you even looking at? Gwen raises her head in a daze. Cryptids. What? Nothing! Go away! As Gwen rejects further conversation, the question nags at your mind. Could it be Gwen has a relation to cryptids? Or... The mystery... Wait, a big part? <laughs> The mystery is seriously nagging at your mind. Mystery of Gwyn. I'm just saying Gwyn doesn't look like a Bigfoot. No, me, kind of the opposite me. of one, actually, yeah. Mystery of Gwyn added. Oh, we have two quests! Yes. I guess now we can lounge on the sofa with Raffi. Let's do it. Hello, Psycho. Spin break with Raffi. What you doing? Oh, no. oh you know, just resting. Want to chill with me? You can... Wait. What, James? Oh, right. Never mind. Oh, so you can actually chill with all of them. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it, yeah. You can chill with Raffi before hanging out with others within your break time. Chill like a cool kid? Yeah. You oblige. Gently place yourself next to Raffi. Hold on. Able in Japan. Able! Thank you for the sub! And that's a... See, now that's a two-month sub. Oh, they call... uh, Able in Japan says, we call my son Raffi. Oh, Nice. Raffi's well, a cool uh, name. Please do not take my statements about Raffi to be any indication of your son. Only this psychopath who mixes Skittles with rocks. <laughs> you oblige, gently placing yourself next to Raffi. The cushion you're on bends from your weight. That's generally how cushions work, right? Yep, yep, yep. That's the deal. How are you doing? I'm having fun. I, th- I think she's a very excitable person. I feel like we're upbeat. Yeah. yeah. That's great. I don't really care, but that's great. <laughs> Contrary to her words, you spot a small grin in the corner of her lips. When she turns back to you, it is smoothed back to her usual peaceful, laid-back smile. Peaceful and laid-back. like I feel like the in-character, our in-character person, sees a completely different Raffi than we see. <laughs> because this is it's not, possible. this, this, this is not peaceful and laid-back. <laughs> no. No, not even a little bit. Yeah. Like, for the most part, they've been making jokes about, like, like killing people. Well, look, they even the evil smile, smile and a sparkle. Like, that's not a peaceful and laid back. That's a plotting look. Want to help me draw on Lena's help ba- me draw on- <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, you're doing this voice. That's right. Want to help me draw on Lena's bathroom mirror with permanent markers? <laughs> Offering to help decorate her friend's house? How thoughtful. Oh, we are stretching to find... This is, this is some uh, attraction blinders going on. You are touched by anywhere. this kind gesture of Lena. Mm-hmm. Agree to help or agree to help. Uh-oh. It's a duty to help such a thoughtful deed. Oh, you poor, poor innocent. You get up from the couch, tagging along with Rafi to the toilet. Or so you're about to, until... A wild Jimothy blocks your way. Jimothy! Oh, that's Jim. I thought that was us. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Raffy and Zeddy, starfucker. I really thought Uh-oh. that this was us this whole time. I did, too. <laughs> I honestly did, too. I'm a little confused, but okay. And who are you? Oh, sorry, that's you. And who are you to stop me? Someone who owns this house. That is a lie. All three of you know full well this place belongs 420% to Lena. But Jimothy doesn't have a single heck to give. Well then, what are you going to do about it? Her tone is challenging, insulting even, but somehow it is Jimothy's responding gaze that sends goosebumps along your spine. Rafi, I know that you know that I know a lot of things about you. Like your true identity. <laughs> like what? Mm. When I think that you spell it out. Are... I think it's spelled out, James. Oh, what? What? W H W H E N U R heart? 
I'm confused. It's I believe it's a username, probably just some embarrassing fan fiction. Uh, oh, good call, Jason. Good call. Ruffy's already holding your hand and dragging you away back to the couch. How assertive. Mm. Maybe next time, Zaddy Starfucker. Oh, poor Zaddy Starfucker. Jokes aside, it's the first time you've seen Raffi this shaken. You can't stop wondering about what happened. What did Jimothy mean about her past and her identity? The, mis- the mystery nags at your mind. Mystery of Raffi added. Bum, bum, bum. Jason, it's time to switch games. All right. All right, but so we are now going to be switching to Cook, Serve, Delicious to try it out. I I really enjoyed that, actually. Yeah, I, no, I that was really good. Uh, so I think we may, that is in contention for overtime tonight. We'll see. We'll see what the other games are like. See if it gets blown out of the water Wait. by something even better. Switching it up. You're going to have to share your screen again once you got it set up. Yeah, um, I'm going- give me one second. Uh, it looks... I know I did download, but it looks like it's the only one of the ones that I downloaded last night that I didn't um, install. So you have to give me one second. Bum, 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 bum. No worries. I'm going to put the announcement. Hey, chat. How are you? What did you think about Dungeons and Lesbians? Did you enjoy it? Uh, Did you think that the writing was interesting? Having fun? Uh, Let us know. We are here to try some new games with you live on the internet, cuddled up, having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did yeah. forget to change the game to um, uh, Dungeons All right, it just games, got but... changed to... All right. Doop, doop, doop. Um, let's see. Cook. Dungeons uh-huh. and Lesbians was super fun. Uh, fun, but I'm great with typos. Uh, will it be our overtime pick of the night? Maybe. But first... We move on to cook, serve, delicious, ah, delivious, delicious, too. Hold on. I do remember that I have an important email I just need to send out real quick. Just give me one second. Boo for emails. Boo. Boo for emails. Defector says that game was meh. Commentary was excellent. Hilo asks if we will ever go back to Dream Daddy. Probably at some point, Hilo. Uh, Matt, Wandering Mage thought it seemed fun. Uh, Jay Schulter thought it was fantastic. It looks like Under the Couch says, I just want to know what kind of monster would name a kid Jimothy. I think that's a very good question. I think that is a very good question. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to put this all together for everybody so that people know where to go to come hang out and have the show. Have the show. Have the show. Come hang out and have a show. Ooh. I think... Uh, all right, Chad. Uh, let's play a game. What email did Chasen have to send in the middle of the show? What was serious enough for us to wait on playing the game? I'm going to say that Chasen is secretly running WikiLeaks. That's my theory. Is that Chasen is the new head of WikiLeaks. Uh, and I'm not saying that in an effort to have him kidnapped by the CIA and then re-imported into America where he will have to be friends with me. No, I'm saying that because I believe it. Chasen is WikiLeaks. <laughs> That's right, Jay Shulter, the same monster that told Lena about the milk babies. Delicious. I do agree that, um, that uh, the CIA would decide that appropriate punishment for... Uh, hold on, let me turn the volume down to this. Uh, the appropriate punishment for running WikiLeaks would be having to be friends with you. <laughs> right, look, it's going to be mostly okay, but he's going to be amazingly demanding and look very hurt when you say no at reasonable times. <laughs> it, will make, it will make sense and you will be right and you will feel wrong. All right, so we start Cook Pad Delicious. Cook, serve, delicious. I mean, sorry, cook, serve, serve delicious, not cook, pad, delicious. Cook, pad, delicious. All right. Somebody has been ordering out. No, cook, pad is actually a name of a recipe site in Japan. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. It began like any other morning at Sherry Soda Tower. You rode the elevator up to your Platinum Star restaurant, cook, serve, delicious, and reflected warmly upon your culinary brilliance and managerial prowess. Life was good. Oh, did we get another sub? Defectro. 
Defectro. Thank you so much, Defectro. Oh, and Jay Schulter subscribed with um, Twitch Prime a while back. I missed that. Uh, thank oh, you, boom. Jay Schulter. Amazing. Thank you, everybody, for coming and joining us this evening yeah. on the first episode of our new indie game show. We just tried Dungeons and Lesbians and had a blast doing it. We are now starting serve delicious uh where apparently we start by in a shootout that doesn't seem like the way you usually start a restaurant without warning no, police surrounded sherry soda tower it seemed company executives were siphoning funds from the corporation while at the same time incurring a staggering amount of debt which drained the accounts of the tower and all the businesses inside everything was put up for federal auction cook serve delicious was no more Angry but determined to rebuild, you purchased a modest commercial space on the 52nd floor of the Tarragon Tower, the largest skyscraper in the city, packed with thousands of ravenous tenants. It is here that you will start a brand new cook serve delicious restaurant, build it back to its former glory, work in other restaurants to rebuild your finances and expand your culinary knowledge, and cement your legacy as the best chef in the world. Good luck. Oh, wait, wait. We're working in other restaurants while running our restaurant? Yes. That sounds unpleasant. You, as a chef, you do what you got to do to survive, James. All right. You right. know what? You got a good point. So let's go through the let's go through the tutorials, the basics. Welcome to Cook Share Sir. your screen. Oh, Jesus Christ, James! Why don't you get better Share at it, it so I don't have to do all the work? Share it. I'll never I'll never get that good. If 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 I got close to that good, I would purposely start getting worse just to. To ease off the the stick a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Welcome to Cook Serve Delicious Two. This is a test kitchen where we can practice a bit. To your left are prep stations where orders appear as customers arrive. Enough talk. Let's cook. Select the order by pressing the up button and pressing the X button when the order is highlighted. All right. That feels easy. Yep. Uh, to the right is your list of ingredients. Uh, use the recipe on the bottom of the screen to place the correct ingredients ordered by the customer. Hold the left trigger, oh. then press the button of the ingredient that's listed on the recipe. Okay. Um, so right. use this recipe to place the right ingredients in the order. When finished, let go of LT and press A to serve. Okay. So we got uh, we got queso. Um, jalap oh shit. Yeah. Okay. No. No. And jalapenos. Okay. They're ruined, Jason. Those nachos aren't a touchdown at all. They were fine. I, I. Did it exactly how it told me to. All right. Um, so let's see. There we are. X. So we got hamburgers. All we need is a meat patty. Easy enough. Oh. Okay. Oh no. All right. Let's try it again. Did you blow it? I did. All right. So did you? Did you make it raw? I did. Um, uh oh. The kind of easy show it page there on. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, meat patty. Uh, lettuce. That's not the correct order, but okay. I mean, not the correct order for how I would make it, but... Um, oh, I see. Where would you put the lettuce? Lettuce goes next to the bun uh, to keep the, the juices from the meat um, and or tomatoes or any other ingredients from degrading the, the bread. What about mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup? Don't those no, those, bread, those do or? go on the bread, but um, they actually uh, generally provide more structure. Interesting. All right. Because they get the lettuce to that, stick. But um, tomatoes. But right now we are in what looks like a like an abandoned building that we are serving hamburgers in. It's the in, test so. kitchen. It's the test kitchen. <laughs> test kitchen. You know what? Oops. I know what no, test no, kitchen no, no, means. No. I have a test kitchen. Mr. Entity is reading with a party of six. Welcome, Whoa, welcome. Mr. Entity. Hey, how's it going? Thank you, Mr. Entity. Welcome to the channel. We are trying out Cook, Serve, Delicious. We just wrapped up Dungeons & Lesbians. That'll be in the VOD tomorrow. And the next game will be A Mortician's Tale. So come, cuddle up. We are about to create a restaurant empire. Now, I was reading, Jason, and apparently this is a game that could go on for 60-plus hours. So this live stream might get inordinately long very quickly. I don't think, I believe I don't think I'm going to play this game for... No. No, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, on the top of the screen, you'll find the holding stations. Holding stations are the key to making things much easier for you when a huge amount of customers walk through the door. In fact, if you don't utilize them, this game can become quite difficult and sometimes impossible. Try accepting the order on the left. You'll notice that you cannot select this food. It is a red HS icon, meaning that it must be prepared in a holding station before you can serve it. It's like holding station. I can already tell that while th this game does seem fun, it does not seem it does not problem. seem like it is fun for me. 
because I can't stay organized in my real life, much less in a video game. But we're gonna this, no, no. we're gonna forge ahead. That's right. Thirty minutes minimum. All of this is your problem. So, now, all I need to do is manage you. So I'm, in my mind, I'm the manager of this fast food restaurant, and you are my employee, and I am here to judge your ability. Can, can I play the run. game, or are you just going to keep talking? No, I'm just going to keep talking. That's what I do. Okay. Uh, also, uh, Dungeons and Lesbians, I thought it was pretty fun. Some It was kind of a mixed bag. We might go back to it, though. I am kind of curious to see. I really I enjoyed it personally, but... um. Yeah. All right. I will stop talking. You can play the game. Okay. Thank you. All right. Press the left button until that station is highlighted. Sorry, um, I lied. To crack and said, uh, hydrate for 100 bits. Oh, I need to go get some more water because I actually drank all my water while I was, um, you know, just chilling. I should probably just use one of my bigger water bottles, but I'm going to use this for now. That's money water. You don't drink that water for free. Just giving away water sips left and right. What is Jason doing? Wondering Major Bird is talking back to us? That's interesting. Does the bird like the soothing sounds of my voice, the dulcet tones? Welcome to uh, everybody who came from Mr. Entity's stream, by the way. Thank you for coming and joining. If you have not already, you should go ahead and join our Discord. It's super fun, super cool. We hang out, we do stuff. Mr. Entity is on it. Uh, we should have a thing. I can post a link. All right. I think Chase and Austin Tracking the link. This is for you right here. There you go. I hope you're happy. All right. Um, there we go. Sippy sip. All right. So select the pretzel and follow the recipe. Okay. So, wait. Huh? Um, oh, I see. Yeah. There we go. Uh, German if you're not pretzel. Not in the Discord. Join up. German pretzel. Um, okay. Cook. Okay. So like the hamburger, we must wait until the food is finished cooking before we select it again. Holding stations are fully automated. Once the food is finished cooking, it will automatically be ready to serve. Okay. Uh, it's now ready. Um, so... No, I just threw it away. What? Ah, uh, shit. Jason, that's food waste. I didn't mean to. This game is very confusing. Like, all the buttons do, like, 20 different things. <laughs> <laughs> Frostbent also paid for a sip of water. All right, uh, so German. There's another sip sippy, of water sippy. for you. Oh, oh. Let's see, or uh, beer. Um, I don't have any beer on beer. me right now, unfortunately. Oh, tell right. them it's beer and just sip the water. It was beer, Frostbent. Honest, honest. All right, I'm letting this <laughs> cook. Drink more water, more, and it's, it's hydrated you twice again, twice over. That's a lot of points being wasted, not on the community challenge. That's true. That's true. Wait, but you know what? Did I throw them away again? We'll there, no I way. don't. I don't get what this game is trying to tell me to do. Okay. <laughs> Jason, it's time to start. I need some pretzels. Okay, hey. classic pretzel. Okay, cook. Okay, it's cooking. All right. All right. All right. Now you you want to hit it like when it's like in a particular spot, right? You don't want it to go too long. No, no. It it it, it automatically gets ready. It's it's fine. See? Oh, okay. Oh, you then you can right. just hit. Oh, okay. So now, oh, I see. Okay, I got it now. Wandering mage, uh, Jason. How do we add to the community challenge? Is um, that, you go uh, under the points and you select the community. The the Jason sings and dances. We're at four yes, percent raised. Yes. And I think you can uh, you can donate any amount because it's a community uh, thing. Is that right? Yeah, I think there is a max of like 10,000 points at a time. But I think you could just keep donating 10,000 points. I'm not sure. <laughs> See, this is the key to getting Jason to sing and dance. Millions of requests for water. You'll dance a little. That's true. <laughs> Order completed. Once everything has been deducted from the holding station, you still have three more left to serve for, to anyone coming in wanting pretzels. Food will decrease in freshness as the day progresses. Once the clock runs out next to the serving number, the food must be oh. thrown away. Certain foods stay fresher longer than others. All holding station orders must be cooked perfectly or they cannot be served. Try serving these next three orders. Okay. Is this fun? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is beginning. increasingly feeling like work. See how fast you can serve customers with holding stations? They're great. You've learned the very basics of the game. And this is only the basics. This is the basic tutorial. 
What? How are there still items such as side dishes, chores, drinks, and holding station optional foods you can learn in the extra tutorials. So you should absolutely check those out when you can. If you're ready to cook, hop into Max Wieners. I heard they're looking for a good chef. Or spend your money over on the food catalog and start building your own menu and cook, serve delicious. Good luck. All right, let's let's try working at the hot dog place. What could go wrong? Hot dogs aren't hard. Tower. You make the hot dog. This is an all new campaign where you run your own cook, serve delicious restaurant or work in other restaurants across the tower. No perfect order. It's complete bonus objectives within CSD. With CSD, I don't know. Or earn medals in other restaurants to earn yum points. Gain enough yum points and you'll level up. Every fifth rank earns you half a star. Get a full five star restaurant to be the best owner in the tower or best chef in the tower. Good luck. Oh, and be sure to try the tutorials. There are a lot of new features in the game. Okay, Max Wieners. So we're doing um, corn dogs, pretzels, hot dogs, and nachos, and uh, tater tots and onion rings, it looks like, along with sodas. That feels easy. That feels doable. I feel like I could do this. Right. Right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel I could do it. I don't have to prove it because you're the one playing. So I could totally do it. Uh, I'm so good at this. Okay, let's start the day. Do, do, do. All right, complete the day with fewer than eight bad orders. Ugh. I feel like I should get some pretzels in in the um in the holding. I'm already stressed out by this game. Like I already feel tense. Like I'm at a first day of work. Right. Okay, we have no orders coming in yet, so let's get some corn dogs started. Yeah, start up some corn dogs. What else they got on there? I guess you could start a pretzel. There might be somebody coming in for a pretzel. What do you want? Nachos? I didn't prep either of those. Okay. Jason, we gotta get some nachos going. Wait, what am I? Wait, how do I get out of this? Hold on. What? What? Um. Jason, nachos. Okay, cook. There we go. Okay, nachos. <laughs> Here we are. Um, queso. We want queso. Um, jalapenos and beans. Okay. Uh, serve. Great. This is going great. Okay. Um, <laughs> more nachos. We want uh, queso, jalapenos, and beans. Okay, Best serve order? that. Uh, now we got um, hot dogs. So we, we have uh, hot dogs ready to serve. Um, they want mustard on it. Okay, got mustard and serve. Um, <laughs> hot dogs this time. So uh, cook the wiener. Um, can we cook another one? Yeah, let's go ahead and put, no. Better. You got two, you need two dogs. Okay, cook. Two. Um, okay, uh, there, let's go ahead and cook this wiener too. Um, and cook. Okay, nachos. Uh, we got queso, jalapenos, and beans. Great. Oh, I forgot an ingredient on that one. Um, you are contributing to the flush. smell of this tower. Seriously. Sanitize. All right, uh, more nachos. What? Um, so we got um, queso, sour cream, and beans. Okay, serve. Oh, uh, shit, 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 this is on fire. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, serve this one. Uh, pre uh, we want a premium bun, um, so that's X and, oh, no! and cheese. I don't know how to do cheese. Um, oh yeah, B and then cheese, there we are. Okay, serve. Um, we got nachos. Uh, we want um, queso, sour cream, and beans. Okay, serve. Uh, more nachos. Uh, we got uh, everything here. Serve. Um, I'll yell at you. I'll help you um, Yeah, we, we want, um, no, okay, so okay, none of that. There we go, okay. Um, we got more pretzels. Pretzels. Um, we got uh, nachos coming in. Uh, we want Touch queso. Nachos, queso, jalapeno, refried beans. Okay. I uh, need a, so a soda. Okay, let's serve that. A soda. Um, open ice basin. Uh, oh, ice fill and seal it. Okay, great. Great. Um, we got a hot dog. Okay, go ahead and serve, uh, cook that up. Um, we got more pretzels. More pretzels. I can't hear you because he's um, terrified. Um, okay, cook. Uh, we got this. Uh, they want uh, mustard. Uh, man after my own heart. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, nachos. We got, uh, let's see, queso, um, jalapenos, and beans. Okay, serve. Um, serve this. They want a pretzel bun um, and relish. Um, so relish is right here. Okay, there we go. Um, we got to do this. this is so fun. Load the dishes. Begin wash. All right, uh, go back to the, this hot dog. Um, uh, release, uh, unload, uh, and sanitize. Okay, finish. This game is a weird version of masochism. <sighs> okay, um, yeah. Okay, ah, yeah, ah. Keep going, keep going. Um, okay, I need no to. I, I need to. I need, I need to use the bathroom. Flush, sanitize, um, finish. Okay, open basin, fill ice, seal. 
Okay, um, let's get this hot dog. Um, okay, this hot dog. Well, they want they want a premium bun. Premium bun. Just throw them. Um, just throw them out. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Oh shit, there. we got this. Okay, they want a pretzel bun and uh, cheese. Uh, how do I do? Oh yeah, cheese uh, and uh, ketchup. Oh, that's gross. Um, yeah, you do have. There's nothing wrong with cheese and ketchup on a hot dog. That's a delicious dog right there. Uh, whatever. Right cheese, well, cheese is awful. Stop talking to me. <laughs> and beans, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Oh shit, we need to put more um, more pretzels on the. Ah shit, no no. So, so Jason, <laughs> no no not corn dogs. I don't want. Well, made. fine. Let's do a corn dog while we're at it. Um, close it. Okay. Um, and then a pretzel. Uh, let's do classic. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Wiener, start cooking it. Okay. Um, Are you pretty you, to these meals? Use the bathroom. Like just going by the numbers. Um, no, can I serve you? Ah, whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's what I had. Okay. They want a regular bun, um, with cheese, um, left? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cheese and, um, chili. Jesus Christ. Um, onions. Uh, onions right. and mustard. And then, and then, and then ketchup. Jesus Christ. Ketchup. Oh. Um, uh, no ketchup or mustard. Okay, there you go. Um, they want ketchup and mustard. Okay, there you go. Uh, they just want mustard. There you go. I feel, I feel like this is just a corn dog hut. Are you basically in a street um, Okay, nachos. Queso, sour cream, and jalapenos. There you go. Um, you want mustard. Okay, great. Um... You get nachos. Uh, let's see, we got queso, uh, sour cream, and beans. Okay, there you go. Um, you know what? I do feel like this captures what it must feel like to work in a joyless fast food job where you're just squirting things on stuff and handing it to people. I, I, I do feel like, like we're getting a little bit of the vibe. And I have to say, it sucks. It sucks. Yeah, Crap it, it, it does suck, yeah. Okay, um, let's, <laughs> what, what kind of they want? They want um, German, okay. You know what job people hate? Fast food. What if we played that job for fun after our fast food job? Or maybe this is sort of like BDSM. Like this is actually for people with a lot of money that just wonder what it's like to uh, work a soul crushing position. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, totally. Okay, pretzels, 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 pretzels. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, I was just, I'm not trying to distract you, by the way, Chase, and I would not it be trying classic. to okay. uh, screw That's you cooking. Over. That's not something I would do. Okay, gotta clean the toilet now, flush, sanitize, and clean. Oh, Mr. Entity is now a subscriber. Welcome. Thank you welcome, so much, welcome. Mr. Entity. There you go. Okay, hot dog. Cook it. Okay. Whew, whew, whew. We're catching up. We're catching up. <laughs> Are you getting your stride? Are you getting your stride? I think, I think, Jason, you might be able to make it as a minimum wage uh, fast food worker. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate you that. Okay, so pretzel bun just... and mustard. Uh, Get to it. For instance, the, but however, for instance, Jason, I would not. I think I think we both know that if I worked food service, it would take me one day to go to jail. Only four bad orders. That's not bad. Yo, you made it, buddy. Yeah. You, you made the shit. 37 perfect hey, orders. Remember, remember, the standards at the corn dog and plastic cheese nacho cheese hut are fairly low. You didn't poop in the nacho cheese. I got a bronze cheese. medal, That's which is fun. technically a win. Hey, in the Olympics, they say that that's an honor. Yeah. And they don't mean it. They do say it. All right. Let's let's um, let's look at the food catalog. Um, let's see. What should we serve in our restaurant? Mm, something delicious. Uh, what are those meats? Is that just meat? Like pile of meat? <laughs> it's uh, brisket slices. Right. I mean, it's like oh, barbecue. Slice. Turkey slices, yeah. ham slices. All right. Ham slices are weird. I've never just gone to a restaurant and been given slices of, well, like ham steak, but certainly not cold cuts of ham. Oh, uh, they do have some Japanese food here. Um, ooh, tamales. What style of restaurant do we want? I think that's a good question. I always like a good uh, Mexican and Chinese food restaurant. Oh, that's a good combo. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's, both worlds. let's get tacos. Let's see how difficult the tacos are real quick. Practice. Abel in Japan asks, is your restaurant in the business area of gang country and by a war? <laughs> Which is a fair question. Uh, tamales are wonderful. We should make tamales on Test Kitchen at some point. I do have a bunch of lard now. We want beef fajitas, so X and oil. All right, this is ready to serve. 
What else? Is, what do they want? They want so much stuff on this thing. What? <laughs> Fish, lettuce, sauce, cheese, white rice, z mozzarella. It's not just any sauce. It's z there's different sauces. There's z sauce, uh, white rice, um, tomato. Hurry up. Uh, right onions. Where are the onions? Cold. Where are the onions? I'm Shut hungry. up! Shut the fuck up already, or I will kill you. Where are the fucking onions? <laughs> Where? Oh, there they are. Hey, um, onions. Uh, lettuce. Jesus Christ. Uh, lettuce. Uh, cheese. Uh, yeah, mozzarella. Ah, oh, no, that's wrong. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no, no, they did want. They did want that anyway. Uh, and no, and and whatever. Okay, yeah, you getting it. I don't care at this point. Um, <laughs> Jesus, uh, no. Where's the love in your food? <sighs> okay. <sighs> I did not enjoy that. <laughs> I did not enjoy that at all. You got four more minutes, buddy. Four minutes. Four all right. Minutes we are not. Run. Apparently, we are not doing tacos. At least not for one of our first things. <laughs> that was entirely too much ingredients. <sighs> All right. Is there anything? I believe when you taste it. Oh, it's just, let's just pick something easy. Like chili. Chili's easy. Let's, how hard let's, chili let's see how easy chili is. All right. Um, okay. So I need to prep it first. So chili, and then it's what? Uh, oil, uh, ground beef, red beans, boo, uh, corn, and tomatoes. Corn. They need to put, Who the there fuck is puts no corn in chili? Anchovies or, or garbanzo beans in that chili, so that's not a hand to mouth chili already. I uh, well, I don't even know what you're talking about. It doesn't sound like chili to me. <laughs> that's what we made on the podcast, Jason. We made uh, Canadian chili with marmite and anchovies and Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce. Isn't How do you feel inside right now? Well, I know, all I know is that what you described did not sound like chili to me. <laughs> <laughs> it had chili seasoning. That's all that counts. And this one is oil, yeah. ground beef, Chunky green pie, peppers, and corn. Okay. Where's the fire in that? Are they calling the green peppers spicy? Because I'm calling them a bunch of Yeah, there's like no that. spiciness in this chili. It's obviously made by, by New Yorkers. That's right. It's like one step below the white bean. Oil, ground beef, uh, red beans, uh, bell peppers, and onions in this one. Okay. Do it, do it. Yeah, just chug that chili out. Look at this. Jason, we should open a chili restaurant. Yeah, Apparently, I like chili. Um, beans and I Oh, no, that was different. That was wrong. Oh, well. Now, I do have to ask, like, like, is the fact that we're looking for the easiest thing really what this game should want to teach us? It's sort of like we're just trying to make the game less painful for us, essentially, to skirt by. Two minutes left, by the way. And this is not a game I would care to return to. I, I, I get it. I can see why some people would enjoy it from, like, the fiddliness. But, man, I think I would want to throw this across the room. Yeah, no, this this game, is, it combines a lot of things I hate in, in games. <laughs> like, I don't know if you remember. So, like, uh, when I was uh, in college and dating Rochelle, uh, she used to really like um, uh, Scattergories. And, oh, yeah. And that game solidified my hatred of any game with a timer. Uh, it's just the stress. I just like I I exist in a stress ball anyway. I don't really need any help. Exactly. In, uh, That's the problem. It just like I play categories and like I see the thing getting lower and then it just seeing it getting lower blanks out my brain and I just like I just want to just toss the whole thing to the ground and just be like fuck this fuck this I can't take this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, you gotta finish that chili. Get that chili out, Jason. Chug, chug, chug. All right, this is just practice mode, so I, I think it just keeps sending them at you. But we're gonna go ahead and buy chili. Right. Um, chili is definitely one of the things we serve in our restaurant. Um, maybe chili and stew, but that's too expensive. We need something that's, a little also, cheaper. Wait, like, that's a weird restaurant, chili stew restaurant. If you pick chili, I feel like we need something like not egg drop soup again. Uh, French toast is lasagna. Brisket? Weird. Go down. No, that's too expensive. Brisket. Brisket. Too expensive, though. Oh, okay. Um, maybe right. we need what like we need is a drink. We need drinks. Um, oh, drinks. Lots. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what, what goes well with coffee? Okay, <laughs> so actually, all their drinks can be dessert drinks. I think the drinks are just part of the regular thing. Um, milkshake. Julian milkshakes will be the most hated restaurant in the tower. Hot lattes, ice lattes. Um, ooh, here we go. Um, what it looks like octopus, yeah, Greek, Greek, uh, Greek grilled octopus, espresso shots. How about chili and donuts? Chili and donuts. That's great. I mean, honestly, let's let's do a salad. I, I Why, like damn it, the, the salad's also. Why is it thousand dollars to? 
Jason, mm. you can't get salad out of a prepackaged tub that was originally designed to be war rations. Okay? Uh, how about chili and nachos? Ooh, chili and nachos classic combo. I don't know why you're not putting the donuts on there, though. Donuts are great. Uh, chili and donuts does not go to, uh, together to me. We're, we're... Uh, have you ever dipped a donut in chili? Neither have I, but I think I will. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do nachos. All right, let's run our own I'll restaurant. Eat a jalapeno donut. Let's let's end this on running our own restaurant for a little bit. All right, we're gonna try our own restaurant, and then we're gonna be switching over. Buckle up. Um. Yeah, it's like uh, having a pineapple jalapeno pizza, which is also delicious, isn't it, Jason? How do pineapple I how do I pizza. add dishes? Are you pizza? Uh, edit entrees. Here we are. There you go. Um, we oh we, we we learned a couple from working at the hot dog place. Um, oh. So let's see. We've got cereal. That's a good combo. So we got chili. Right. Um, Love it. Nachos. Love it. And what's your pretzels? Pretzels isn't unreasonable. What are those other two? It looks like um, salad, which is uh, no, no, no. Cereal and um, Salisbury steak. Um, uh, cereal. No. For breakfast, your chili and cereal place. We're gonna do pretzels. Breakfast for lunch. Right your pretzels. And if you're feeling wild, you can mix some of that Captain Crunch in with your chili. It's delicious. It's like cornbread. They're both made of corn. We can do mac and cheese on the side, definitely. Yeah, who doesn't love mac and cheese on the side? Although, frankly, if you're getting nachos with mac and cheese on the side, I feel like this meal should come with an intervention or, or at least a conversation. And how you doing, man? And a soda As fountain. An okay. Okay, we're going to try this out now. Start new day. Do it. All right, we're going to win it this time. Yes, we are. I take credit for all your success and none of your failures. I know you do. All right, we're going to get some chili going. So we got oil, ground beef, uh, red beans, corn, and tomatoes. Okay, start that cooking. Um, let's go ahead and get something else started on the hot. Let's, let's get some pretzels started. Uh, we're going to do classic and cook that. Okay, so they want nachos, and they're going to get queso, sour cream, and red beans. Okay, there you go. I feel like this is less a game and more a so cautionary you want chili. tale you can give to high schoolers. Are you sure you want to work in the food industry, boy? Yeah. Play this game. All right, these guys want some pretzels. Let's go and get some German pretzels going while we're while we're at it. Okay. Yeah, cool. we'll make some German. Okay, clean the toilet, flush and sanitize. I do. I, I agree with Mr. Entity. I do kind of like that they've folded in having to use the restroom. Okay, so um, jalapenos and red beans. Okay, gotcha. Oh, refried beans. Something red beans. Refried beans. You get some chili for you. Chili! There you go. You look like a chili man. Oh, is that person asleep in your restaurant? Seems to be so. Uh, we got some nachos, okay. uh, Nacho. queso, jalapenos, and refried beans. There you go. Wait, didn't didn't she come through the other restaurant for nachos? Did she just wandering the tower eating nachos she, in every restaurant? Well, this is like, um, you know, this is a different day. Each each time you go through, it's like one day. So, right. Okay, so we got yeah, queso, it. sour cream, uh, jalapenos, and red beans. Refried beans. Why, why? Take out the trash. Why do so many sanitize. of your customers look homeless? I'm really con wondering well, about that. Like, you look, the look at the you? decor of my restaurant, James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Okay, sour cream. Uh, jalapenos. Get going, Jason. Get going. <laughs> shit. I gave him something I didn't want. Rush. Okay, yes. Lunch there you go. Lunch rush. Open basin. Fill ice. Seal. i uh, give you that. Um, nachos. Um, we got queso, sour cream, and jalapenos. There you go. Give you some chili. I need to get some more chili going here. Um, chili, oil, uh, ground beef, red beans, green peppers, uh, onions. There we go. Okay. Um, do that. Okay. Um, we got Jason, queso. I don't think I should work in a restaurant. Yeah, me neither. Um, sour cream and refried beans. There you go. Um, oh. shit, shit, shit. Oh, it, okay. Jason, get it out. Just throw something at him. Feed him. Okay, that's oh, cooking. No, no, no. Okay. Queso, uh, sour cream, and refried beans. There you go. We got uh, queso, sour cream, and jalapenos. There you go. Um, the pretzels are still cooking. Take out the trash. Mash it down. Sanitize. Go. Okay. Pretzels, 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 and pretzels. Let's get some more pretzels going. 
Um, pretzel. Uh, we'll do classic. Cook. You get chili. Um, let's fix the uh, open basin and seal. There we go. Going. Okay. Going. Um, we got that. Okay, pretzels are still cooking. Serve you some chili. Take out the trash. Mash it down. Sanitize. Go. Okay, serve you pretzels. Uh, load the dishes. Begin the wash. Release. Unload. And sanitize. Go. Okay, toilet. Flush. Sanitize. Go. Serving pretzels. Um, open trap. Close trap. Sanitize. I, Set I think trap. You're sanitize. The group, yeah. You're definitely you're getting there. I'm feeling it. I did have four wasted portions of chili, it looks like. What? You're fired. <laughs> uh, under the couch says, the most important thing to remember in food service is that you're only making minimum wage. So, you know, fuck it. You're actually lucky in correct. America if you're making minimum wage. It means you live in a state yeah. where uh, they guarantee minimum wage to, uh, to waiters. How ludicrous is it that that's still true in 2020, by the way? I know, uh, right? It's just like... They're like, uh, I will see if you are uh, worthy of paying your light bill. Bring me a Sprite. <laughs> right, you get nachos. You want queso, sour cream, and jalapenos. Go. Okay, give you some chili. Um, oh, Mason, Phil, I You're seal. Go. You're filling this tower with chili. Chili. All right, pretzels, 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 pretzels. Open trap, closed trap. And sanitize. Go. Chili. Chili. Shit, we're out of chili. Um, chili. Uh, oil. Ground beef. Uh, red beans. Green peppers. And onions. Go. All right. We also it's need to cook true, some... Hilo. It's kind of like we're reliving all the greatest hits of uh, previous sins, isn't it? It's pretty pretty depressing. All right. So everything's cooking right now. So we have to... These customers are going to have to wait. Sorry, guys. What? Chase it. We're a fast All right. The restaurant. chili's ready. Hilo, there you go. Over. How long does the rush hour last? I hope it's not an hour. This is our second rush hour. Whew. What? We're making some money today, boys. <sighs> I do like money. Okay, you got nachos. But we got queso, sour cream. Ah, crap. I did it wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. Whew. Whew. Um, oh, we got mice. <gasps> what? How did you end up with mice, Jason? I told you to mop. And then I went home. What is going on? I can't even tell. Why are you doing this much? How many times have you gone to the bathroom? Well, I think it's also customers fucking up the bathroom. Uh, oh, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Here we got uh, queso, sour cream. Ah, crap. Well, uh, you'll have to deal with some jalapenos on there. <laughs> Boom. Enjoy. Free. <laughs> Man, you are dealing with a lot of pests. Maybe you should take that trash, get picked up occasionally. I mean, you'd have less pests. I'm just saying. Okay, we got everything I'm on this one. I, li I like the ones who, who like with everything on it. Because then I just put everything on it. Boom! Finish! What do we do? How'd you do? How'd you do? What's going on? Oh, you have to I was doing dishes. Clean. Oh. You're pretty All good. Right. Did pretty good. No you bad orders and only well two average ones. That's not bad. All right, well, that's it for this game, Jason. It's time to switch around. I got a we decorative object. I got a, a little tiny table Ooh. there. And a, and a weird go. wall lamp. Ah, and, and a backsplash. And a jacket down. All right, all right. One, all right. There's a lot of stuff we're not... I don't want to play this Yum game Yum, level yet, one achieved. Cool. There you go. Yeah, thank you. But I, I still... Uh, would like to yum not play this game again. Yeah, same here. Goodbye, cook, serve, delicious. I'm sure you are for somebody who enjoys a sort of. Uh, what, what, what would you say that was like, Jason? A night a, um, nightmare, like a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, much, nightmare. much like a nightmare. Yeah. Almost as if you woke up and you had to work food service. Which, if you work food service, I can't imagine that dreaming about working food service makes it better. And if you don't work food service, you probably don't want to. So either way, I'm not sure who the game's for. Uh, that said, if you thought it looked fun, I encourage you to support them because, you know, they made a game. Yeah. Let's move on to the next one. What is the next game, Chase? Uh, the next I one, is, I believe, is Extreme Meat Punks Forever, if I'm not wrong. What? I Wait, let me check. I thought it was Morticians, but it might oh, be. Oh, you're right. I think it is a Morticians. Oh. I think you're right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I think you just you downloaded Extreme Meat Punks because you have a plan for it, overtime, to, don't you? Well, to be fair, Extreme Meat Punks Forever was very much in the lead for a while there. It was. It was totally in the lead. Uh, and uh, yes, I believe we are doing uh, Mortician's Tale next. So you know, it should be uplifting. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to do one more. Everyone pose. All done with the game that tortures you through food. That won't be the overtime selection. But will a mortician's tale come find out live? Does everybody like my uh, my live copy editing? Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome to the internet. For all that I do. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see. Okay, so this game is not controller based, so we're going to go keyboard and mouse. Interesting. Start new game. September 14th, 10 15 a.m. Oh, I like the graphics. All right, I'm not there yet. I'm still posting ads. Okay, hold on. I also need to share it to you. Uh, bum. Turn on screen share. Graveyard keeper. What is that? No, I don't want an application window. Jesus Christ. Uh, there. You know what, Halo? I think I'm actually kind of with you with the uh, the sense of uh, death positive, but extremely anti embalming. I I don't think that I would want to be embalmed. I want to be I've burned. About that burn bit. me, burn me. You want to be burned? I want to be buried and made into a tree. That's my version. I want to, like, you know where they, like, bury you under a tree and then a tree yeah. eats you? Okay, James, you for, some, you for some reason, a mortician's tale isn't showing up in my in my um, share on Discord thing. Uh, let me try something real quick. If it doesn't work, I can always watch from Twitch, too. Yeah, it doesn't have a settings menu, either. Let me try one more thing. I mean, because it's you, I can just share my whole screen, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, but it, it's also I do see it on Twitch, so we'll be okay in, in the worst case. Well, I'm sharing it. I'm sharing my whole screen with oh. you, so. Sweet, I got it. Okay. Okay. Now I can tell them all your secrets. Welcome, Charlie. Uh, nice to meet you. My name's Matthew, and I'm and I'm mainly going to be the man who delivers the bodies to you and helps some of the more heavy lifting. If you hear that joke about a hearse driver, I'll tell it to you when I come by in a bit. Looking forward to working together. I think you'll enjoy working here. Amy's a sweetheart, but she runs a tight ship. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. She wouldn't have hired you otherwise. Cheers and good luck. Matthew J, Funeral Director, Rose and Daughters Funeral Home. Hello and welcome to our new Funeral Director. From Amy Rose. To Rose and Daughters and Rose and Daughters staff. Hello everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our new Funeral Director, Charlotte, or Charlie, as she told me she likes to be referred to. Charlie is a recent graduate who came highly recommended and is eager to begin her career with us at Rose and Daughters Funeral Home. Please take the time to make Charlie feel at home within our little family. We'll have a nice catered lunch this afternoon so we can all get to know each other a little better as well. Sincerely, Amy Rose, founder and director, Rose and Daughters Funeral Home. Hello, Charlie. Well, you're new here, so it's probably best I explain where everything is. In your office preparation room, you'll find your cremation station, cremulator station, embalming station, and obviously, since you're reading this email, your desk and computer area. I know you have experience working with these stations, but please let me know if you have any questions. From Jin Love to Charlie. Huh. I get, oh, good luck, you beautiful and smart babe, you. Huh. I guess my subject lines to you should start being more professional now, now that we are business professionals. I can't wait to get your reply so I can see your fancy new email signature. I love that you were able to land this gig straight after graduating. It sounds super cool. I didn't even know mom and pop funeral homes were a thing until now. Guess it's just not something I really think about that much. That much about. I should look more into this. Learn more about your world and industry because as I said, you are now a very serious professional. Speaking of being a professional, my museum gig is amazing. I can't believe somebody paid me to move to London and not London, Ontario, serial killer capital of Canada, to work in a museum. Uh, any Canadians in the office? Is that true about London, Ontario? Is it the serial yeah, killer capital London, of Canada? Ontario. <laughs> like, take that. Is it, is it the Pacific Northwest of Canada? <laughs> Like, take that, everyone who said I couldn't get a job with an art history degree. I'll tell you more about it when my, when we Skype. 
My, my stories require you to see my face and that you hear my excellent British accent impersonation. Also, I signed you up for a funeral's monthly newsletter. Consider it your graduation gift. I love you. I'm super proud of you, gift. Love you, love you, love you. Jen L. Hart, museum curator, London Pathology Museum. From Amy Rose to Charlie, today's tasks. Oh, this one, this one, I have a response now. Okay, go. Um, hello, Charlie. Hope you settled in so far. Matthew should have dropped off your first body for you to work on. He said you were really friendly and he's glad to have someone young and lively to work with. You get used to his sense of humor. Your first body is Mrs. Garcia, an elderly woman who died suddenly of a heart attack. The family's asked for a closed casket funeral, so no embalming or body preparation is necessary. The family seems a bit more united than previous families we've dealt with. Strange how grief affects people differently. Perhaps having more time to say goodbye makes things easier, if that's possible. That being said, although you will not be embalming Mrs. Garcia, I do think it's important to take the time to clean her body. No one is going to see her body, but I like to encourage my funeral directors to do this out of respect for the deceased and their loved ones. You'll find Mrs. Garcia in the prep room. Talk soon. Amy Rose, founder and director. I'm not going to read that out every time. Uh, read special request for my mother's funeral. Dear Mia, of course we will happily oblige your request for no embalming and for closed casket. Okay, we already know that. Um... We're happy to be with Rose and Daughters for my mother's funeral. We understand that uh, there are usually procedures that must be followed in these situations, but if you kindly not involve my mother, that would be greatly appreciated. We'll proceed with a closed casket for the service. I just know she wouldn't have wanted her death to have any negative impact on the environment. Since she fought so hard to beat her death, to, to beat her heart disease and to live healthily, it would be a shame to have her final moments to be countered to the way she lived. Oh, that's sweet. James, that so when sweet. I die, if it's, if it's technically possible, I want- I will make sure you burn. Yeah, I want to be burned, but then I want my my ashes uh, to be uh, compressed into a diamond and then shot into space so that I can wander in space forever. Oh, I like it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, when I die, I want to be put in a glass coffin. No. We've and already been over this. It will be attached, it will be attached to my fortune. Your wife, and whoever, your wife whoever has vetoed this. My coffin, whoever controls the coffin controls the fortune, but you must display it prominently as your dining room table and cannot mask it or hide it or put a tablecloth on it. You must eat off my dead face. This would totally be the easiest will in the world to get overturned. <laughs> It's be like uh, he was crazy and insane, and you can't take this will seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I think the counter argument would be point to a period where it wasn't true. Oh, he wrote Jason in the sky as a diamond. It's good. It's not yeah, bad. Yeah. We're almost there. Um, Diogenes the cynic wanted to be thrown in the woods for animals to eat. That's not wow. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> New Kickstarter for James Glass Coffin. Maybe some. This is the prep room where you will prepare bodies for barrels and fewings. Because the family has requested a closed casket ceremony with no embalming, you're just going to clean the body. Click on the sponge and drag it over the body to clean it. All right. You just, okay. That's it, you're so done. This is the kind of game that kind of just wants you to meditate on- What death is. The idea yeah. of death as you play, right? Yeah, hopefully, we'll see, I mean, uh, that's it. You're done. Miss Garcia will be sent to Mike, who will take care of dressing and putting her in a casket. It's time to go to Mrs. Garcia's funeral. You're responsible for taking care of the deceased body. But it's also important to pay your respects to their loved ones. Follow the arrow to head to the funeral parlor. I think I had some more emails to check. Let's look at the emails before we go to the funeral. Yeah, there's one that was about etiquette. I have a feeling that might be important. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tips are good etiquette at a funeral. Thanks for subscribing. Each month we bring you a new newsletter featuring a topic pertaining to the death industry. This month is all about the good etiquette for attending a funeral. I, re I really can't believe we have to write this one, but since we said we'll answer your most popular questions, here we are, because it's definitely one of the most popular questions. Funerals are a hard time, and we understand that, but here are some quick and easy rules to remember for being respectful at a funeral. Generally following the guidelines of don't be a jerk should work. Don't be on your cell phone. We understand you're busy, but at this time and place to disengage. If you have to be on your cell phone, don't do so inside the funeral home. Don't be loud and obnoxious. You can share happy stories, but other people are also grieving and working through their own healing process. Being quiet gives other people the space they might need. You know, um, for my funeral, you can discount um, two and three. Don't be loud. Oh yeah, no, there's no way. You can be uh, you can be loud and obnoxious, and you can definitely get drunk at my funeral. 
I would almost say, it, I mean, it might be required. Like war, at least yeah. Though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> everyone can deal with their feelings in their own way. Just remember to be respectful with the grieving family and friends. Happily reminisce. Sometimes remembering happy moments and positive experiences with the deceased can be a productive part of the healing process. Give condolences. It's not easy knowing what to say to someone, but even a simple, I'm thinking of you can go a long way. Dress appropriately. What this looks like will change based on the customs of the deceased and their culture, but always dress in a way that shows respect to the deceased and the grieving family. Give a gift or sign the registration book. This can be flowers or a nice card, but it's the thought that counts here. Sometimes this can even be just cooking dinner for the grieving family. Anything that shows you care and want to help them through the healing process is what matters here. Be kind and be helpful. Okay. All right, that all seems reasonable. Yeah. It takes a special person to be able to do this kind of job. This is a tough gig. Yeah. All right, I guess we're talking to people or... She would have hated these paintings. She was so particular. Yeah, at least she doesn't have to see them, I guess. That's, yeah, I guess. I can tell this game might make me cry. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, especially uh, we have both experienced loss. Uh, you know, you have, uh, Mr. Engine and Hilo were talking in chat about uh, wanting to go to science. That's what my grandmother did. Uh, I lost her uh, a couple years back. Uh, Anyway, yeah. yeah, we might have a time on this one. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. We had a lot of fun. We can we can end, we can end on a little bit of tears, and then we'll go back to Dungeons and Lesbians and feel better after after we play. Uh, we <laughs> we usually don't small talk a lot of a lot of these things. At least that's what I was always taught. I hate wearing pantyhose. My legs are so itchy, but it's always so cold in these funeral homes. I think I might actually miss the sweaters she used to knit me now. Yeah, I heard the family specifically said no embalming. I thought it was mandatory, like required by law, but I guess not. Embalming weirds me out. Do those chemicals leach in the ground? Seems strange to be using a chemical that is known to cause cancer and putting it into the ground like that. Or in the sewer. That's what they must do with the leftover formaldehyde, right? Just pour it down the drain? At least embalming guarantees you won't be buried alive. <laughs> Stop it. Don't make me laugh right now. Mommy, I'm Mr. hungry. Entity. When can we go? Oh. What was what is Mr. Entity Mr. saying? Mr. Entity said uh, the worst part of running a funeral party uh, par parlor has to be bilking grieving fragile people out of money they don't need to spend. Yeah, uh, true. I would agree. You know, there's a lot about the funeral industry that's pretty shady. But I mean, I would guess uh, that that's more um, more common at the chain funeral homes, which um, yes, I would to be fair, there's a lot of those uh, than it is at the uh, um, at mom and pop ones like this one. Yeah. Is there anything oh, else? It's almost like everything gets worse when it's run by a giant faceless corporation yeah. that doesn't care about you. All right, I guess that's it. I so. Yeah. You talk to everybody, you paid your condolences, and you're not getting drunk. Cha ching. Next day. October eleventh, ten oh nine AM. Got an email. Just clean up my station. Oh, I got tattoos. Look at me. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm so frustrated, RN, right now. Okay, let me explain this in a little bit more detail. A colleague and I were discussing the tiger, tight lacers liver specimen we have here at the museum. It's from a woman who died in 1907, and the liver is tapered inwards from what the doctor leading the autopsy believed was too tight lacing on her corset. It's fascinating because it's kind of a controversial topic. Tight lacing was super popular, and while people associated with fainting or hysteria, it's actually been associated with uh, uh, visceroptosis, which is when the organs failed, fall to the lower part of the abdomen, right? which is super unsettling, but can also be caused by being pregnant. So TLDR, corsets probably messed up some bones, but likely didn't do this kind of internal organ damage. I'm tired of the condens condensation about my wardrobe that also implies I don't know what I'm doing. These are the kinds of things I specifically research, and yet I'm treated like I know nothing about. I'm having a date, Charlie. Can I rant for just a second? Tired of hearing colleagues, strangers, colleagues, anybody, <coughs> male colleagues, 
Get on my case for wearing corsets. I wear them under my blazer and over a nice blouse. So it's not like I'm dressing inappropriately, even though dress codes are such sexist BS anyway. And like, I hate how their misogyny gets veiled in faux concern. Jen, I'm just worried you're damaging your body. You know what corsets do to livers, right? Corsets don't do anything to livers. They're definitely not hurting me as much as your condensation is hurting my head. Ugh, sorry. I'm, sort I'm out of sorts right now. I'll send you another email in a little bit when I've cooled off a bit. So I guess that one's supposed to come first. Yeah. Jack Jawagon says, my mom works at the local family-owned Undertakers. I will have to ask her about the environmental influx of embalming fluid. I'm pretty sure they're pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's work from the bottom bottom down from now on. Uh, we all know everybody wants to be respectful okay. of funerals. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. This is... Uh, don't talk too loudly, be kind, smile, and refrain from making appropriate jokes, at least around the grieving family. Hey, sometimes some people need do need a little bit of a pick-me-up during such hard times. Who are we to judge? And a big part of that is knowing what to wear. Roman Catholic funerals tend to lean more on the formal black attire rule, and it works for us. Do you know this goes back to the days of the Roman Empire where people wear black as a symbol for mourning? Black isn't universally the symbol for mourning, though. And if you're attending a funeral that is from a culture that is not your own, it's important to understand this. Some colors have different colors have different meanings, and despite your best intentions, the wrong choice could mean accidental offense. For example, in Hinduism and in Chinese cultures, white is a typical color for funerals. For Islam, though, it is less about the color you are wearing and more about how modestly you are dressed. You refrain from wearing any elaborate jewelry and be respectful of your behavior. For Sikh funerals, color of the clothing isn't as important as is dressing modestly and being able to sit appropriately sit cross-legged. Actually, being respectful is just the number one rule for any funeral, no matter what, really. Remember that, and please don't hesitate to ask what is and isn't appropriate to wear. If you're attending to support a friend, family member, or partner, this day's not about you. Is wait, did you ever attend a funeral where the day is about you? Um, uh, I, I think it's probably a, a big tell if you think you are. <laughs> so be sure to do whatever you can to be as respectful and supportive as possible. Even if that just means not wearing what you're used to wearing at a funeral. Or even if it just means asking how you can sh appropriately show your respects. From Matthew Jeffrey to Charlie. A story about death. Hey there, Charlie. I was driving around the other day, you know, taking our clients on their last trip around town. And I was thinking, strange, I know. Did I ever tell you the first time I went to a funeral? I was a teenager, about to start university. And a friend of mine was killed in a car accident, totally out of the blue. Really tragic stuff, messed me and my friends up real good. Woo, this is hard. But so, the big day, doing, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> but so the big day we all got into our best suits and dresses and packed ourselves into a few cars there were lots of us so we had at least three different cars full of us like clown cars you know but we're in the pro procession going to the cemetery somebody in our car got a phone call from a friend in a different car turns out some asshat driver who doesn't know not to get in the way of procession drove through the intersection and smashed straight into our friend's car nobody was hurt thank god but can you imagine getting that call Anyway, one of my friends in the same car as me, the one who just who got the phone call, hung up and started laughing. Just laughing her ass off. And that way... <laughs> can, uh, James, can you read for a second? <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, just laughing her ass off in that way that makes you not sure if you're really just crying, or if they're going to go fully off the deep end. And she laughed, and then we all started giggling because, like, go figure, life is messed up sometimes, you know? There's no moral, no point to that story, I guess. I just remember that story and wanted to tell you because we work with death all the time, and I still sometimes get caught off guard by what that actually means. Oh, before you get any ideas, that has nothing to do with why I became a funeral director. That decision came totally later and is nothing unremarkable. Somebody has to do it, and I have a strong stomach, so why not? I'll see you in a bit, Charlie. Matthew 3. Woo! Matthew J. Uh, Mr. Entity says, uh, in a positive way, this is a weird conversation for a Twitch stream. Yes, it is, but we're a weird group, Mr. Entity. That is we true. That is true. <laughs> I have a feeling, though, this, this game is not the most streamed game out there. No, I bet it's not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Internet, let's be upbeat and positive. Today, we're going to play an introspective game that will make you remember some of the hardest moments in your life. <laughs> Hi, me. Please pass along our deepest thanks to you and your staff for the wonderful jobs they did with our mother's funeral. It was really lovely. Our family so rarely gets together, it was nice seeing everybody come out for such a beautiful service. My son never gets to see his family. 
Also, it was incredibly kind of you to let us bring our own food in. Getting to share home-cooked meals, sharing stories, being there together, it was, it meant a lot. So what I'm saying is, it was nice for everyone to be there like that, together in that way. And you know how much that was due to your work with your staff, especially your funeral director. Thank you for making this difficult time easier for all of us. Best, Mia. Oh, and then, uh, she's passing a message along. Thank you for the hard work, Charlie. All right, next job. Hi, all Charlie. Right. Here are the instructions for your next body. You did a remarkable job on the first one. The family is very happy with you. No small feat, of course. Placing a grieving family isn't exactly the most comfortable of jobs. Your next job is a man named Mr. Duval, an elderly man, died of old age. Nothing fancy, just a standard funeral with embalming. You can reach oh, out okay. to his daughter, Lizzie Duval, if you have any questions. She's handling her father's passing as well as can be expected. As always, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. P.S. Charlie Dear, please do remember to wear proper embalming gear. From out of hide is extremely dangerous. I know I don't need to tell you, but my maternal instincts are hard to ignore. I promise I won't mother you too much. Well, just a little. Ask Matthew. He knows. I'll get right on it. All right. I guess we're going to try the embalming this time. Yep. Looks like I already got it in my uniform. Yeah. Do you need anything else to gear up or anything? I don't think so. There's nothing like else. It. Yeah. Traditional barrels typically require embalming, which preserves the body and prevents it from de decomposing as quickly. Unless the family requests otherwise, all traditional barrels will use embalming. Let's start by cleaning the body. Uh, Hilo was wondering if we know when embalming started. If not, would we like to know? I'd like to know. Yeah, sure. So you clean it. I assume they're going to give you... There's a lot of... Man, this gets a lot more complicated, doesn't it? Yeah. The Civil War. Oh, so they could ship the dead back? Oh. Interesting. Right. I, you know what, Halo? I think I actually... I think I have heard that before somewhere. Uh, but I didn't remember it, so it doesn't count. Thank you. Uh, thanks for that bit, but though, that, that is interesting. Interesting. You have to massage the body to break up rigor mortis. Oh. Wow. I didn't realize that. Although it makes sense. The eyeballs deflate once the body starts decomposing. You can drive an eye cap into each eye socket to give it shape. I think that's this, yeah. So, yeah. To keep the eyes shut, you'll need to glue them. You can drive the glue on each eye to shut it. Must sags and hollows once the body starts decomposing. You can drive a cotton ball into the mouth to give it shape. I really feel like this is the kind of game that would not be great for the funeral industry and that it makes me deeply not want this to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like I this is way, way, way less uh appealing now. Back to glass coffin it is. But no embalming. Which, you know, fits with the glass coffin aesthetic, really. Yeah. Uh now I need to moisturize it. Yeah, more moisturizing? No. It... Embalming involves removing blood and replacing it with preserving chemicals. Click and drive the scalpel over the neck to make an incision. You're going to need a tube for draining the blood. Click on the tube and drag it to the neck incision. Click on the cannula and drag it onto the cardioid artery. This is how you'll get pres the preserving chemicals into the bloodstream. Now you need to connect the embalming machine to the cannula. Grab the additional tubing and drag it to the, and drag it to the cannula. I assume... The same tubing, maybe? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Click on the embalming button to turn it on. In order to evenly distribute the chemicals, you have to massage them through the body. Click and drag over the body to massage it. I had no idea it was that intimate of a process. Yeah. So, are you, let's see. So it's just making you massage the body as it goes, basically? Yeah. This game is kind of intense. I mean, it's certainly not a challenging game, but obviously that's not yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. What's funny is, like, this part, I don't know if it's because it's the most video game part, but this is, like, the least uh, bothersome to me, you know? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I, I can see how the reading is probably the, the hardest part because that's that's personal stories, right? Whereas this is a little bit more abstracted. You can 
kind of make it a doll for yourself a yeah. little bit more. Drain the organs of any remaining fluids. Um, right. Oh, I need to do a little bit more of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're done. Mike will take care of Mr. Duvall's makeup as well as dressing and putting him in his casket. It's time to attend the funeral. Uh, yes, Mr. Entity, I saw that uh, episode of Penn & Teller's bullshit as well about funeral parlors, and it is a good one. It, it does do a pretty good breakdown of a lot of the the ways in which the evils of capitalism have influenced the funeral industry. I feel like anytime anybody calls anything an industry, what they're telling you is they found a way to make it sociopathic. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not against capitalism for a lot of things out there. There are a lot of things that really benefit from that competition. Uh, Me too. I do think, though, that there's a lot of things like healthcare death care, um, like public roads and public transportation that don't do well under capitalism because uh, capitalism is not focused on actually helping people. Yeah, I think it, it comes down to the fact that capitalism is, it's great for voluntary and convenience items yeah. and products, of which there are many that are critical and amazing that we love. Uh, but it breaks down when you are forced to purchase something on a time frame that you're not under control of. Yeah. Like that, that when we get put in a situation where capitalism becomes weaponized and tries to take advantage of you instead of trying to serve you. Came out of nowhere. I mean, it always sort of does, doesn't it? Yeah. One minute you're laughing, having fun. And the next poof, that person is gone. Just like gone. Yeah. And it's weird to think about it for too long. Like staring at the sun. I start to feel all fuzzy when I think about it. Mm, so weird. How our bodies just stop working like that. Yeah, yeah. I feel weird that I'm not talking back to these people. It feels more like like I'm you listening in on their conversation. Yeah. Listening at them. yeah. <laughs> like it feels um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um uh what's the word for like when you're well, just like, like watching velvet? people and like a voyeuristic, oh, uh, a voyeuristic. It feels yeah, very voyeuristic. Yeah. So strange not seeing most people wearing white. White? Yeah, I think it's different for fam for different family members. I can't remember. I haven't gone to many traditional funerals. So mostly white, but like definitely not red, no matter what. I assume it's because they're Chinese. Black. Well, no, no. I'm. She was saying that uh, uh, she's not used yeah. to seeing people not wearing white. Right, right. She looks pretty coded as Asian, you know. He always wanted to love his grandkid, uh, take his grandkids to the park, play catch. He loved playing catch. He threw a mean curveball, that's for sure. Humming to himself. <laughs> that was always me at funerals when I was a kid, anyway. Well, yeah, especially well, when you're a kid, I think you kind of just don't really understand on a certain level. Yeah, you don't understand, or like, it. yeah, yeah, I think it's. And everybody else is also happy to ignore you. <laughs> Yeah. Well, nobody, like, like you, you, as uh, as said earlier, uh, funerals aren't about you. Yeah. You know? And yeah. so, you know. Also, I feel like as a kid, like, um, the people who are, who are generally dying are people, like, like, outside of, like, you know, many unfortunate circumstances that do happen to a lot of people. But at least my experience was that the people who died when I was a kid were, like, older grandparents or great-grandparents people who I wasn't like super yeah. close to because they were so much people older. People that were already distant because they were so old. And usually, like I had that, like my great grandmother, uh, both my great grandmothers passed when I was a kid. And in both, and, and uh, some other folks that were related to me. And in all of those instances, it was kind of like that, right? Like they were somebody that had been so old my whole life that they had been sort of a distant figure to begin with. Yeah. Uh, and so it, it registered, but didn't uh, in that way that things happen when you're a kid. So how much time do we have left on this one? I'd say that uh, we are pretty much at this point. It's up to you. you. We are maybe three or four minutes from overtime. Okay. Well, let's keep going for a little. Let's do one more day. All right. So the LGBTQ funerals, respect. If you've been a long time subscriber to our emails or follow us on social media, you've no doubt heard about the misgendering that transgender people are at times subjected to during their funerals. Jesus Christ, what is with these fucking emails? 
Uh, uh, you want to do this one? No, no, I got it. Uh, there have been notable okay. situations where trans women have had their wishes overruled by their families, have had their hair Jesus cut, Christ. yeah, are buried under the wrong names. Okay, yeah, you do it. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, welcome to our super fun indie video game stream in which we read things and try not to cry <laughs> live. All right. Here we go. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, well, well, you just go to the wrong screen, but you're oh, shit. Me, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, but, but do give it back. Okay. Uh, we care a lot about this because we believe in treating every person with the same level of compassion, respect, and care. And this is abs and this absolutely extends to pronouns and respecting the deceased's wishes as per their lived experiences. The CDD, the CDC's funeral director's handbook on death registration and fetal death reporting, offers the fraught directive: enter male or female based on observation. Do not abbreviate or use other symbols. If sex cannot be determined after verification with medical records, inspection of the body, or other sources, enter unknown. Do not leave this item blank. Leaving it up to observation, obviously, enters into a world of issues since bodies can be so different and because of ingrained bias, because people can draw incorrect assumptions based on their own inaccurate observations. California has passed what is known as the Respect After Death Act, which states that the death certificate must reflect the deceased's gender identity as they lived it. So, a step in the right direction. People who are trans deserve the same respect in death that people who are cisgender receive. Misgendering in death takes away this respect. It can also inflict hurt and trauma on spouses and friends that survive the deceased. So what can we do as a funeral directors? Listen to the people who come into your office. In America especially, some marriages may not be recognized as legal depending on the laws around same-sex marriage, but this doesn't mean you're not dealing with two people who have loved each other in the same way as another couple. Listen, learn, and always be respectful. While you have to work with the next of kin, your duty is also to ensure the deceased receives the utmost respect in their burial. If a funeral is to honor the deceased, then do that. Honor them. Well, that's fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Yes, I'm, overtime's going to be a cuddle powdery on the couch. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, it's actually. I just noticed it's a website. Oh, wow. All Man. Right. Funerals cost so much money. So crazy. And look at that. Yeah. Direct burial, no ceremony. That's for me. Well, well. Uh, cremation's not bad either. Yeah. I want cremation with ceremony and reception. I feel like I want I want if when you die and I'm in charge of your funeral, which seems like the way it'll go, I I would go direct cremation and then no ceremony because we would be throwing our own ceremony. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying cremation plus <laughs> right. a party or some sort of service. Can you set up a bonfire on a beach that is illegal? <laughs> yeah. No, we can't do that. We're not <laughs> well, the ashes. Well, we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Actually, since we have the bonfire, why don't you just give us the body? <laughs> We'll, we'll do the cremation ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Send it over. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try the next email. We'll see if I can actually do it this time. Okay. Something about reading affects me more than a lot of other stuff. I don't know what it is. You know what? I think actually it's an effective way. It's something that they're effective. It's an effective thing they're doing in the game because it, it means that you have to sit with it. Like you don't get to just be cutesy for a yeah. second. You know, and you have to read it in your voice, in your head. Yeah. And that precludes your ability to get away from it, which I, I think is smart. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping I could click on the coffee cup and drink it. Nah. From Matthew Jeffrey to Charlie. I don't like the look of this not one bit. I know you've only been with us for a few months, but maybe you're aware of the trouble Amy has been having. A small mom and pop shop like Rose and Daughters can't compete with the bigger guys. Anyway, don't tell Amy I sent this to you. Also, I'm starving. Uh, this is in regard to a paycheck coming late. So I'm starving, so I'm going to grab some fast food before taking the hearse to the car wash. Two birds, one stone. And swinging back to the home. Do you want anything? A beef and cheddar? I'm going to take the hearse through the drive through of course. It freaks people out. I love it. That gets so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. I'm heading out. Uh, I keep forgetting that I should read the bottom email first. I wish they did switch that around, even though this is more like... Well, I don't know. In Gmail, for me, the, the older email is at the top. But whatever. Um, this is embarrassing, but it seems I miscalculated some of our income, and I don't have enough to pay you next this week. It would be terribly inconvenient if I cut you a check ne next week instead. If you need money urgency, please let me know. I feel terrible about this whole thing. I can cut you a check for my personal account if need be. Oof. Not doing great, then. Yeah. Meet cutes for death-positive cuties. 
Charlie, I was doing some reading. I know you hate when I try and give you dating advice, but hear me out. There's this dating site specifically for people working in the death industry. Okay, so maybe I'm a little worried for you. You haven't mentioned anybody new since the breakup of 2014. We will never speak of again after this moment. But you're always saying how tired you get of people being scared to ask about your day. So maybe meeting somebody in the industry isn't the worst idea. Just promise me you'll consider it, okay? It's harder for me to make sure you're seeing sunlight when I'm all the way across the ocean. I know you look like a babe with pale skin and witchy gothy aesthetics are super hot right now, but vitamin D is still a good thing. Mom ran over. I'm going to try it out because turns out people get super scared off when you tell them you work in a museum filled with dead bodies. Do you know how not interesting other people find uh, uh, Teratomas? Teratomas? I don't know. Um, Charlie, I didn't know we were in. We were this weird to outside people. I've been spoiled by having a best friend who's as much of a weirdo as I am. Miss you. Let's grab a bottle of wine for our next Skype date. P.S. If you sign up for Dead Meat, isn't that the best name for a death industry dating site? Tinder rules apply. You have to like me if you come across my profile or whatever. I'm not sure how it works just yet, though. Uh, to interrupt, uh, Abel in Japan says, My family believes that my maternal G-dad was buried alive. My grandma had dreams about it that night after they declared him dead from a stroke and buried him on the same day. Jesus. Wow. Oof. I mean, I don't, you know, like, like from that description, it's hard to tell whether, like, the actual truth is. But can you imagine being your grandmother and, like... Like living with Wondering. that, like yeah, oh, that would yeah. be rough. From Lizzie Duvall to Amy Rose. Hi, Amy. Thank you for the wonderful evening you and your staff put together for my father's funeral. It wasn't always an easy man to get along with, but I'm glad to have seen him off in such a kind way. Oh, we were doing a cremation next. Today's funeral is for a woman who died from breast cancer. Nothing fancy, just a standard cremation. Okay, I'm on it. All right, that's a good way to close it out. Yeah. Before we cremate Mrs. Hall, we'll need to prepare her body. Mrs. Hall family brought clothing and jewelry for her to wear. It's important to remove these before the cremation process is to not damage them. Let's start by removing Mrs. Hall's necklace. Click and drag the necklace and place it on the purple tray. We will place the necklace in the urn with Mrs. Hall's remains later. Abel in Japan says, She was so distraught that they dug him up that night. He was dead, but the material inside the coffin was torn and collected around his legs. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. All right. That's super intense. Yeah. We need to be able to identify Mrs. Hall's remains after she's been cremated. Click and drag the round identification tag and place it in the coffin. Great. Mrs. Hall is all set to be cremated now. Uh, it's like, like this is you, what I find interesting about this game, and I actually really love that about this game is that, and it's uh, probably the reason that it will not be streamed a ton, uh, is that it is a very difficult game to be pithy while you're playing. Like it feels disrespectful. Yeah. It's an inter it, but you know, you, you got to give it to them though. Like, like there's, there's nothing saying that a game in which you play a mortician had to be that effective in that way. You know. Yeah. So is that? I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Entity says this game will be so much better when EA oh, here is we putting are. micro. Here's the urn, yeah. Is in it? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> this is the cremulator. Contrary to po popular belief, cremation doesn't turn bodies into ash so much as bone fragments. Using the cremulator, we'll break these bone fragments down into ash like remains. Let's start by placing huh. the urn into the cremulator. I didn't know that. Yeah, me neither. Click on the urn and drag on the cremulator under the nozzle. You can drag the bone fragments and drop them up into the top of the cumulator. Don't put the necklace in there. <laughs> <laughs> you should put Miss Hall's necklace into the urn. Don't forget the tag. Click on the round identification tag and drag to the urn. There we go. Oh my god, can you imagine getting ashes mixed up? Ugh. I'm sure it happens. It has to. Yeah. I'm sure you just don't tell them. I mean, what, you know. Well, I mean, certainly there's a reason why they started doing the tag thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, cremators burn away all the flesh and leave only the bones, which is the ash. And then they put the bones through the cremulator, Interesting. I guess. 
Yeah, I guess uh, like flesh wouldn't leave really that much ash, you know, because it's mostly yeah. water and and you know squishy bits. She would have hated this music. She never wanted her funeral to be sad. She would want to smiling. She said so. This is nice in a weird way. She liked that we were all here talking. She always tried to keep the family together. The food is delicious. I know that's weird, but these crab cakes are perfect. That's the other thing about my funeral, James. The food has to be good. Oh, at Chasen's funeral? Yeah. It's all beer yeah. and all Chasen's favorites. Yeah. And well, it's got to be good, though. You know, like, you got to... Oh, know. look at the chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not making it. <laughs> <laughs> if money's tight, get Angel to make it. Okay, that's fair. We'll make it. We'll make Angel make it in the worst case scenario. Or maybe by then, maybe I'll become a great chef through hand to mouth chasing. You never know. Maybe I'll become a true chef. Probably not. We'll see. <laughs> Glad she was cremated and not in like an open casket or something. Seeing her like that, I don't know if I could have. At least we all got to say goodbye. She would have liked that. Have you ever been to an open casket funeral, James? Uh, yes, I've been to a couple. It's weird. It's, it's, it's super weird. Unsettling. I have to say, I found. I, uh, my my grandmother donated her body to science. She's the, oh, that's cool. the family member of mine, the most recently passed. Yeah. I actually uh, I tried to get there in time and I, I missed her uh, by like a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, because of the plane. Um, but I did see her one more time before they took her body. Um, and that was nothing like open casket funerals. Uh, it was in some ways. I mean, you know, in both in both instances, there is a very real feeling that something is not there that was. Um. But the open casket feels a little bit like looking at a doll, uh, and that is not what looking at an actual body felt like. Yeah, I, totally. Those are very different experiences. Yeah. At least we all got to say goodbye. She would have liked that. Hello. Uh, the hand-to-mouth Photoshop aesthetic is not having Photoshop skills. Feel free to do a rough version of me as Chef Excellence. <laughs> She fought really hard. She was proud of herself. She never gave up, not once. I already talked to her, I think, yeah. Abel in Japan says, Jason's going to have a sponsored zone cooler in the corner in his way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm going to miss Jason, man, but at least we still have his gamer go juice. Yeah. Now we can party all night long. At least we can mourn to the extreme. All right, that is it for um for a mortician's tale. Whew. Boom! That was an intense freaking game there. That is like no joke. Although you know what, I have to say, I so appreciate just the spread of games, and I'm glad that people voted for such an interesting collection of things. Yeah, and I'm I'm really excited for the show. I've got to say, I had a blast this whole time. Yeah, me too. I, I wasn't bored for even a second. Shall we um uh, Shall we end it with some Jackbox? Dealer's choice, Jason. We're in overtime now. Yeah. We're in it with some Jackbox. Yeah. Let's do some Jackbox. Um, I want a different Jackbox because I lost the last one and I want to win. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say, I, I, you did not exactly seem to be like a, a trivia guy. So I was a little surprised when you were like, yeah, let's do trivia. Uh, let's see. Um, st streaming. I'll do anything. Whoa. Jackbox. It's, wait, does it open with like a shot of, of a bathtub? Yep. The jackbox is getting to be more and more suggestive. I feel like they know. Why is there a hand in the chaser? Do you want to play the hand game? Okay, we can play the hand game. Role models. Well, here, we'll go through all the descriptions of them. Okay. All right, so I did Trivia Murder Party 2. Role models is everybody's something, so who are you? The planner, the flake, the sassy one? Step in the lab and find out. Ooh. It's a joke boat. Uh, Ahoy, you're an amateur comic on a fourth-rate cruise ship. Do you have what it takes to win the talent show? Uh, uh, role model is, is like a little bit more for people. Not necessarily okay, streaming. Yeah. streaming. Uh, Dictionarium. Humans have been inventing words and phrases for centuries. Now it's your turn to contribute an entry to the pages of the Dictionarium. Mr. D says, joke boat is the best one of this particular pack. Uh, know, there's we'll also see. push the button. Danger! Shape-shifting aliens have infiltrated your starship. Can you and your crew find them before time runs out? To crack in also votes joke. Okay, boat let's so do far. joke boat. All right, guys. Um, 
Get your cell phones ready and load it up to Jackbox.tv. I'm going. Uh, let me let me change the stream title too. Hold on. And get ready because I almost missed out last time. Yeah. Uh, shit. To Jackbox. Oh yeah, it's the Jackbox. Right. That's right. The Jackbox. Welcome to the Jackbox. I want to leave. No one ever leaves the Jackbox. All right. Um, where is my browser? Browser, where are you? I like this music. Mm. I need a pina colada. Okay. Oh, Werewolf at Worldcon. What is it? Was that Werewolf like a uh, uh, World of Darkness role playing game, or is there some other? All right, I'm starting now? it up. Be prepared. Oh, 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 God! I'm never prepared. Um, settings, audience, yes. Um, I give you password game, but um, wow, interesting. Um, yeah, let's require Twitch. Um, okay. let's see, no family fair. Let's see, post game sharing. Uh, oh, that version of Werewolf. I played that game. Uh, it was fun. Should I, should I do the allow room code hiding so that I can make sure that certain people get in? Uh, we, we can do we can do, we can do it another time. We'll do it another time. Yeah. If, if this turns out poorly, we'll do it another time. Okay. All right, play. Oh, is there a Welcome Jackbox along. version of Werewolf? Must be the that talent. Could be fun. Please sign in. What? Oh, oh god. Oh, oh shit, god. shit, oh. shit. M U J D. Oh no, I, I misspelled it. It's because I'm not signed into Twitch on my damn it. M U J D. Jason, it won't let me do it. It says I have to shine into chat. Yeah, okay. Let me let me actually go back and turn that off. Actually, um, back. Jason, turn it off. Give me a word. Oh. Oh, push the button is essentially werewolf. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. That's a fun game, but I feel like you really need to be able to make eye contact with people for that game to work. Otherwise, it's sort of just shouting into the nothing, isn't it? All right, here we go. Okay, I'm, all, I'm also doing the room code hiding so that I can get in first. Because I'm Cheater. selfish. Cheater! Welcome aboard. I'm Chuck Hull, right. the ship's captain. Oh, but it won't tell MC. me. Grab your dummy and what's sign the, in. Ah. What's the point of the hiding if... Uh, whatever. So, unhide. Here we go. I'm going to get in. going to gonna, gonna get in ahead of you, Jason. Anytime uh, now. Yes, I'm first. I got in. All right. We got two more. Sp two more. One more spot. One more spot. One more spot. Who's gonna get in? Anybody else? Anybody else? We don't. We got one more. We can start if we need to start. Okay. Wants to join in, we're gonna we're gonna start in uh in in ten seconds. Ten. ten nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. seven six, six. Five. Four. four three. three two, two. One. one. Any time now. Oh, it, then it does its own countdown. Yeah. Oh, okay. Guarantee victory. Gather round, comedians. Here's tonight's itinerary. We're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage. But first things oh. first, it's brainstorming time. Before we jump into the jokes, let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired. On your right. device, you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals, people, or objects. Fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke, you'll get some bonus points. Generate as many I'm as you can. take all your bonus you have points. 25 seconds, starting now. Ah, oh, crap. It's on my phone. I was looking at the screen. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Wow. 
Just like my premium cable bundle. This writing exercise is ending soon. Now that your no. mind is moving at full <laughs> steam, it's time to write some comedy. Follow the steps on oh, your device God. to construct two jokes. What? Oh, I'm already upset. This is terrible. Reset my choices. Give me better choices than that. Oh, they're all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's about to see that uh, my top skill isn't improv. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, then. Is that it? I only got two? Uh, yeah, now we're waiting on other people. All right. If you haven't started I your second joke my yet, joke. now would be the time. My jokes are pretty bad. I didn't know I had more time. I could have made better jokes, I'm going to claim. Well, this is just a tutorial, so. Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't count. Frag run. I still guarantee victory, but it doesn't count. But I guarantee victory, but it doesn't count. You guarantee victory, but it doesn't count? Uh-huh. Yeah, Kraken says you'll have no excuse later, James. The last time I saw this many grins, I was surrounded by sharks. I lost my brother in the magic. Jason, I think you know. I always have, have excuses. Comedian? Hilo's up first. Are you ready, Hilo? All right, here we go. Do I get to choose if I laugh or not? Is this how I it's think important? so, yeah. <laughs> a group of beavers walk into a bar and ask I actually... if anyone would like to love them. I actually kind of, oh. I kind of like that one. No, I, I, I think you get points for whoever chooses your setups. Ah, uh, I see. Never mind. Okay. Oh crap! Wait. Wow. I'm a nasty little toilet because I am filled with poop. That's my, that's my joke. That's what I had. Oof. Ring a ding, enemy. Oof. That's what I had. Oof. Oh, now we choose between them. Um, Place your vote now. Crap, I'm going to lose to Hilo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was close, though. It was close, it was close. Uh, oh, you still get some to points. Be fair, and to be some fair, I agree. To you. What? Blast. A round of applause for choice, our though. next comedian. All right, time for Wandering Mage. Yeah, yeah. Be on top. My nickname is Revolving Door because I watch everyone push on by me. Boom! Oh shit. <laughs> Here we go. It's Jason's. I do like the character they chose for me. That's a good character for you. Remember to say your catchphrase. Oh yeah, you gotta change your catchphrase, Jason. How many gampas does it take to change a light bulb? Three, one to screw it in, and two to say racist things at the dinner table. Ah, ah that's so bad. I like that, classic. My corduroy. Good. Which comedian told a better uh, joke? Look ooh, well, I get to vote this time, because I wasn't in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wondering mage. We got blown out, Wandering Mage. Sorry, Wandering Mage. And a tip of the hat to you. Good job, Kraken. Oh, oh anyone not in the game should join the audience. You get votes. All right, Abel in Japan, it's time time for your joke. 
Marriage is a lot like commas. She never asked for just one thing to be done. Huh? Is this your submarine? <laughs> All right, the Kraken. Let's see what let's see what uh what what you did. God created billionaires by <laughs> oppressing the poor. <laughs> Oof. Oof. True. Oof. Crime <laughs> and night terror. Is that is that one of those? It's funny because it's true. Maybe. <laughs> All right, I bought myself a snack, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my snack while we do this game. Sounds smart. That's reasonable. What's your snack? Are they, are, does it have gamer power? Yeah, well, it's like. Crack and take it. It's chocolate covered peanuts, basically. Want some more comedy? Right. Well, here. Oh, more space demon. That's me. Thank you, Hilo. Uh, uh, I'll perform the joke. All right. My hometown's nickname is Lake Titicaca. Because of all the syphilis. <laughs> okay, I actually like that one. Ring a ding, enemy! All right, Mr. Enity, here we go. It's a heads up battle. I like my sex like I like my grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Spurting yellow goo. <laughs> okay, these are both pretty good. The somebody say so glitter good. glue. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Um, I'm glad I don't have to vote. Actually, I don't have to vote. I don't have to choose. You must choose between those two gems. Comedy gold. That was really good. I'm proud of both of you. <laughs> James. Oh, Ty. Ty. I like it. I like it. This bump, uh, Mr. Ernie, we are also pod video podcast bros right, this week. All right, let's hear it for the next performer. Okay, here I'm up again. I'll perform the joke. Do it. You ever notice how Chasen is just a fancy version of a simp? <laughs> oh, so My fair. corduroy! All right, Hilo, here we go. I have more warthogs than an idiot on crack. How many idiot? How many warthogs does an idiot on crack have? Oh man, this is also difficult, but for a different reason. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Respectful showing by both of us. Congratulations, yeah, both people. That was a point for you as well. Thank you. Oh, Abel in Japan got a little bit. I guess maybe our next comic is. Yeah, because he yeah. used his turn or his term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Kraken. Middle school for me was like Winston Churchill. <laughs> Fighting goddamn Nazis. <laughs> It's a bad cry me a night terror. Wandering mage. My love life is like Nancy Drew. Mysterious and probably not really that notable. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm historical fiction. Oh, audience pushed it towards to crack it. Mr. Entity, you're better off not knowing. Please welcome our next comic to the stage. All right, Mr. Entity. When I was a kid, we didn't have skeletons. We had living people properly buried by a caring chasen. You're sucking up to a chasing. That's only one vote. Bad strategy. Did somebody say glitter glue? 
Why did, Why did the calendar cross the road? You can do the punchline. Time is a contract getting ready to be hit by a car. Ooh, the space demon. Is this that. your submarine? <laughs> I don't think uh, anyone I was. Proud of my joke I was just, I don't think anybody me. really was. It's really not the way anyone actually writes jokes. Yeah, you know, that idea that you're just like, oh, you just come up with setups and then you come up with punchlines. That's not how that works ever. Congratulations, uh, Abel in Japan. Let's play a little shuffleboard. All right. Yeah, Good Chase job. is the winner. No. Fret not. We're all oh. mortal souls who will eventually perish. <laughs> this game is clearly like screaming. golf, except that the person who comes in second to last wins. <laughs> Yeah, we might try Quiplash next week. Well, we're sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, here's the plan. Let's rewrite another comics joke. You'll use oh, the God. same setup, okay. but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? Let's find out. This is tough. Um... I have done my best. Oh, the boat is called C minus. That's not bad. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Time to use nature's GPS. The stars. Oh no, there are so many of them. Where are we? <laughs> I'm already done. Me too. I'm not very proud of my rewrite either. I think the original one was better. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's turn those screens yeah, stick and into move. laughs and welcome our comics back one last time. Are you ready, Kraken? All right, here we go. I like my sex like I like my grilled cheese sandwich. Baba Booey Howard Stern's penis. Alright, okay, alright, alright, I see, I see. Vote for your favorite punchline! <laughs> Sorry, Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, seemed, that seemed pretty, that seemed a fairly firm decision. <laughs> alright, here we go. Able in Japan! You ever notice how chasing are just a fancy version of squishy yellow goo? Ah, it's a callback. You're right, Abel. It's a fan. Good job. Did they successfully beat this joke? Vote now. No, oh, I can't vote. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Jason didn't need those points. He's got plenty of points. Yeah, you guys catch up to me, and I don't want that. All right, my turn. Space Demon. Oh, yeah. Loot it, loot 
God created billionaires by establishing an enslaving primate urge towards social hierarchy and boobs. Minus points for misspelling hierarchy. That's all. I didn't have time for spell checks. What do you want from me? Oh, I can't vote. Right. <laughs> Were you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, James. I used the old comic trick of adding so many words, you assume there must be a funny one in there somewhere. All right, Hilo. My nickname is Revolving Door. Because you spin me right round, baby, right round. All right, all right, okay, all right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm, indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, almost a tie, but Hilo ended up with the win. Oh, the audience came in. The audience came in with the, the clincher there. All right. Um, when I was a kid, we didn't have skeletons. We had psychic demons corrupting us from the inside. Oh, oh. it's not bad. I like that. I like a psychic demon. <laughs> As a psychic demon, I approve. Two, 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 two. two seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, damn! <laughs> Crushed it! No. More points for Jason. Points. All the points Give for Jason. All right, Wandering Mage. A group of beavers walk into a bar and ask the bartender, got any wood? Oh, I can't vote on this one? Why? Only I may vote. I am the voter. Frostbent, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Wow, that was a very solid Ooh. win. Ooh. 500 crushed it points. All right, Mr. Entity, it's time for you. I'm a nasty little toilet because the plunger doesn't work. I think I think it's better than mine. Your your sure yours was not very good, James. Um, I'm not sure either of us are getting a prize, but I think someday on hand to mouth I should tell the the tale of the toilet. That would be a good tale, yeah. Yeah. Oh, audience made this one close. Ooh. Kraken, thank you so much for your Twitch Prime sub. Love those Twitch Prime subs. It's time to find out who rose to the top. <laughs> you yeah. do win the tiebreaker, Mr. Nitty. The hat goes to you today. But I am gracious, and in being gracious, I secretly win okay. the biggest prize. Um, I'm down for another game if you guys are, but I need to go to the bathroom first. So, <laughs> please, uh, you guys hydrated me too much, and now I need to go to the bathroom. B I believe that's how we get our song and dance. BRB. Bathroom break. If anybody else needs a bathroom, this would be a good time. Go have a pee. To Kraken and Frostbent, both bought you sips of water, Jason. What kind of bike does your son have, Abel, in Japan? My son's got a tricycle. He's just getting to the point where he can kind of make it go. 
Oh. You didn't fail at Funny Zero. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, f believe it or not, uh, Joke Boat might not be the full measure of one's skill set when it comes to comedy. Uh, except if I win, and then it will. When I win, it will. But while I am not winning, it does not. That is the rule. It is a little restrictive. It's a little bit, uh, you know, like you're, you're doing an old Okinos routine from the, the 60s or something. Um, but, you know, it's also kind of fun. I actually had a really good time with it. It's, it's, it's fun to goof around. It's nice that they have these things where we can interact with people a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Here's an incredibly specific punch uh, setup. What's your punchline? Ring a ding bang. <clears throat> All right. Are we ready to do this again? I think we might be. All right, round one. comedians here's tonight's itinerary right, too we're gonna write some jokes and then test them out oh. on stage all right here we, here we go first, here we go here we go all right that's the it that's it for this class time before we jump into the jokes let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired on your device you'll be prompted right. to write various topics we'll skip it to like since we already yada, did yada, tutorial. moving on yeah can we do this yeah all right oh no okay uh Okay, time to wrap things up. Follow the steps on your device to write two jokes. Trust your instinct. Whew. Okay, let's get to it. You know the drill. Hmm. All right. We've hit the halfway point. I feel slightly better about those, unless they don't do well, in which case I don't. 
Oh, you don't sound as confident as you did last round, James. I guarantee victory. Victory is always guaranteed. All right, I'm done. With 25 seconds left to go. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry about that, Mr. Andy. Time's almost up. Yeah, I, I should have done, um, sorry, I shouldn't have done the same players. Um, yeah, if you, Skontoka, if you go to Jackbox TV and use the code CQFA, Oops, you can't join the game right now, but you can join the audience. We see captains have a saying. If you feel lost, look at the stars. Speaking of stars, oh, who am I kidding? These comics were all amateurs, including our first one. All right, Wandering Mage. Why did the boomerang cross the road? Because everyone knew they'd come back around eventually. Boom! James, you want to alternate telling the jokes? Totally. The Kraken. I want to open a store that only sells dumpsters. And call it dumpster fire sales. <laughs> Which comedian told a better joke? Ah, oh, I get to vote. I'm in charge. The power is in my hand. Mr. Ernie, don't give out potential, um, uh... Yeah, yeah, you... Hold on to your your game. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ring. All right. Nice. Wonder Mage. Big win for Wonder Mage. All right. Let's hear it for our next comedian. All right, Hilo. All right. Your turn, Jason. <laughs> My grandma said the best thing about butts <laughs> is the taste. <laughs> oh! Ooh, that's not bad. I like that one, actually, yeah. Yeah, inclusion of grandma really uh, helps it. All right. Uh, oh, James, right. I get yeah, to do, do my own. Yeah. Please, Steven. Oh, wait, I get to choose, right? Yeah. I think they asked me to choose. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll perform the joke. Don't forget your catchphrase. Right. When I was a kid, we didn't have charities. We had homeless drifters ground into crab cakes. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't like that one. Ring a ding, enemy! Nice job, you two! Judges, what do you think? Oh, I can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Why don't they trust me to be impartial, Jason? I don't know. Oh, I got blown out of the water! Hilo! Oh. Oh. Good Sorry, job, Hilo. Like I'm winning. Great like setup! Because I'm winning. What are you winning? I'm winning in golf. Are oh, you winning in golf? Let's yes. keep this joke boat moving. Yeah. All right, Mr. Our Andy. Next to the stage. <laughs> Have you ever tried duct taping? <laughs> That's when you try to submit a clump of taped up ducks as a MythBusters crew member. All right. Okay. All right. Did somebody say glitter glue? Oh shit! I gotta do my own too. Ah. Uh. What's the difference between most people and capitalists? Most people burn capital to buy things, and capitalists burn people. <laughs> oh, that was my clearly, corduroy. Clearly, you were clearly pandering. Clearly pandering. Now did it pay off? That's the question. Do do do. Oh, an audience? Oh, audience brings me the victory! <laughs> I know, Let's Mr. Slippery, I got it wrong. Alright, the Kraken, it's time for you. That's this point to learn, Scott in Tokyo. James. A group of buckets walk into a bar and say, Hey! Where can we get our fill? I kind of like that one, actually. Cry me a night, terror. 
Well, no, you win no, by no, default. Oh, Japan. No. Nice assist. Buckets. Make some noise for our next comic. All right, James. All right, here we go. It's me. I guarantee victory this time, even though I have not so far. I'll perform the joke. My family is like Jason, but like weird. And what is with all those severed hands? That's what I had. Ring a ding, enemy. That's what I had. Scott, I'm really I'm wishing I had your like talking. zoom in camera right now to show my face. Squad <laughs> mall. <laughs> hey, read it. Oh, my hometown's nickname is the waterfall because touch him on the penis. Now that is some pandering right there. Oh, um, yeah, I'm historical fiction. Charge. Five out of seven, perfect. <laughs> <Just to> crack. <laughs> Sorry, Abel in Japan, that's what you get for having a family. Oh, James pulls out the win. That's right, thank you, audience. I love you too. I do believe you're owed some points. I am owed points. No, that, so was, that, was, points. that was for you the Kraken. Know, you love them, it's this person. Oh. Oh, Jason time. I'm so old, I remember when James was an even more horrifying lizard creature than he is now. <laughs> I'm bending up. My corduroy. All right, James, you're doing this this one. All right, here we go. Hilo. Why are they called light bulbs? And not glowy balls. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't vote on this one. Um, hoverboard much? Oh god, I have to vote on this one. You know what to vote for, James. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hila, right? Ouch! I'm sorry, Hilo. <laughs> that was a murder. <laughs> Ooh. We just witnessed a murder <laughs> by me. And a quick shout out to you. Good job, Mr. Entity. Keep that light smattering of applause going. I like my friends like I like my books. Shelved until I need them. <laughs> okay, I like that one actually. That's a good one. James, are, th are you lagging a bit? Because you do seem like you're lagging. I was looking at Twitch. I'm sorry. I'm back on Discord now. I'll be good boy. And some credit to you. All right. Who's winning? Okay, you jokers. Let's tally the scores. Better not be chasing. Oh, not chasing. Oh, up it's not still chasing. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Wildly chasing. I don't approve. sinking again there's no time to write jokes from scratch so here's the plan oh you might be able to come back in this round joke. Able. you'll use the same setup but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline the better the original joke did yeah we can skip that yada yada moving on I'm going high risk. Are you? Yeah, me too. Well, I mean, I, I would generally say that I'm not very good at Mr. Any, but apparently I, I am, if you're looking at the points. Whatever. I look at the world. I'm funnier than you, Chase, and I am, and I have no part of my ego built into that whatsoever. There's nothing <laughs> about it that would bother me at all. I'm funnier than you. It's I'm not bothered. I'm not. I'm funnier than you because that's why I'm not bothered because I'm funnier than you. I believe you, James.
Wait, do I rewrite two or just one? Just, just one, one, I believe, yeah. Yeah. How are we doing on the community challenge? Eight, we're up to 8% raised with 28 days left. Keep putting those points like in. There, Jason. Looks like. Did somebody step away again? Women and children go in the lifeboats first. Everyone else, stick around and welcome back our performers. All right, first up the is the Kraken. I like my friends, like I like my books. If I don't like what they say, I burn them. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. big step. Yeah. Morbid, I like it. A real clash of the titans. Ooh, man. I like the pun. I like the pun. You know, it's yeah. tricky. Oof. Oof. Good job, Kraken. Took it. Well done, Kraken. Ah, uh, yeah, Mr. Ernie, that is true. Why are they called light bulbs? And not uncased easy bake ovens. Which version do you like best? I'm not sure. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, wow. You did not make lose, Mr. Entity. You make win. Oh. Fifteen hundred points. That's a big one. That's a big win. My grandma. My grandma said the best thing about butts is it's numerous uses. Yeah, yeah, you know, that is a good thing about butts. Yeah, they do have numerous uses. A number. Oh, oh, wondering mage. Sorry. Sorry, it, did, it, it, it didn't go well. Did not, that didn't go your way, Wandering Mage. But you know what? You've won to some tonight. All right, Hilo. You're up. My hometown's nickname is The Waterfall. Because it's all going down. Yeah! I like that. I like that. It's not bad. But it's up against Ten, a classic. Nine, Who will win? Eight, seven, six, five. And Hilo won. Congrats, Hilo. Well done, Hilo. <laughs> All right, James, you're up. All right, I'll perform my joke. What's the difference between most people and capital? Oh, and oh, I see what you're trying to do here. Balls. Who's pandering now, James? <laughs> Did you pick that one just because you, you want to, like, settle vote. who's funnier, you or me? Vote, vote for who you find uh, funnier in all instances. Wait, don't. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, but vote for souls. Ooh. Oh, damn it! Oh. Damn it! How's it feel, Jason? Well, I barely lost, so. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully, you're still here, Abel. I'm so old, I remember when James was. Successful child actor being introduced to drugs, you know. what? You know what I mean? I do know what you I mean. Know what I know you exactly mean. what you mean. Sad story. It's a sad, dark, dark, dark tale. <laughs> uh, I mean, Scott, you just. Go 
Jackbox. I mean, we try. You just go to Jackbox TV, and then you enter in the code that's at the bottom right of the screen. Ooh. Wow! Nicely done, Abel and Japan. Yeah. All right, I'm up. All right, Jason, here you go. I call my bedroom the zoo because of all of the naked animals. Oh yeah! Oof. Oh yeah! No, no, no! I only—I don't get that many points though, because it was just like a computer-generated joke. Oh. Uh, some of them are cracking. Uh, some stuffed animals have clothes. Out on top in this survival of the funniest. Oh! oh Hilo is the winner. Yeah. Well done, Hilo. I begrudge Jason his victory over me. But I, I, I celebrate Hilo's victory. Well, James, you didn't get last place this time. Yeah. Uh, so do we want to do another? Uh, do we want to do another game, or um, uh, or another a different category? I'm down for one more go at this. Actually, what time is it? I've thrown to the party. Well, you go. You pick. I'll be right back. Let's do another one. I mean, a different game is what I meant. Let's see. Let me see if I can change. Okay. Oh, there's only two settings in the main settings. Okay, how about uh, is anybody down for push the button? Oh, it doesn't work on stream? Ah, oh, boo. Jackbox. Apparently it doesn't- Welcome to the Jackbox. Apparently push the button doesn't work on a stream and it's like a very um, like in-person one, I guess. Yeah, that one was, they were saying it was kind of like werewolf. That um, feels like something you gotta kind we of. We could do Dictionarium. Hey, go to shut. Yeah. Worst case, it sucks. Is it, I see, it says it's family friendly, but, you know, I bet we can change that. I, I believe in us. Yeah, okay, that's on. Extended timers on. Um, yeah, post game sharing, turn that on. Let's do subtitles. All right. I think that's uh, that's good. All right, let's play. Yeah, I yeah, I generally like. I mean, even um, even disregarding it helping out uh, people uh, who uh, who have issues with hearing, I just generally prefer subtitles anyway. You know, I mean, people may have to turn the volume down for something. Yeah. Sometimes, if, especially if audio is muddy, I just enjoy having them in any case. Yeah. Nope, that was the wrong code. Damn it. Oh no, wait. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be. Oh. Hold on. Oh no. What is the word? Oh. One more spot left, James. One more spot. Oh, I'm in the idiot audience. <laughs> Who got that last spot then? Ah, Wandering Mage. Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, I'm the audience. Hello, I, I salut, judge you all. Yesas. Welcome to the Dictionarium, where words are the future. Please me, And numbers the are an alternate dystopian future we must avoid at all costs. What an intelligent crew. In the Dictionarium, you get to make up words and what they mean. You'll get points if other people like what you come up with. 
And in the end, one of you will be crowned Grand Master of Words. Me neither, Jay Shulter. Oh, and for anyone watching, join the audience. Just input the room code and play along. Let us begin. Right now, Round one. Phrase sent to your device. Okay. Write a definition for the slang phrase on your device. Ooh. The best part about creating the letters are words dropping. Is there's no way you can spell them wrong. Somebody feeling pressure? You feel that clenching? Some tension in your hands as you're trying to text, trying to type your genius idea? Yeah, Please Mr. Andy, I used to love Dash Balderdash Dash. back in the day. It was one of the few video games, or a few like um, games that my girlfriend in college liked that I also liked. Scott, Balderdash was a fun Scott, game. Scott, I think you need a new chair then. <laughs> Only eight more letters left. Seven. Six. Five. Submit your definition quickly. Four. Time is almost up. Three. Two. One. Zero. Show me the money, honey. Okay, we have definitely entered the not family friendly um, portion <laughs> of the evening. <laughs> What? Yeah, these are all very family friendly. When you have more goats in your paddock. All right. And now it's time to vote. Choose the definition that makes vote? the most yes. sense to you, or that makes uh, the most joy to your world. And remember, you can award bonus points to the ones that stole your heart. Do -do -do -do. Yes, I think the people may have missed that the point of the game is to have the most convincing definition, but what are you going to do? No, the, the point of the game is to get the most votes, James. Oh, that is true. Uh, Chase points out, Mr. Nithy, that uh, our use of the game may break the intended purpose. Someone's At the end of the day, you are playing to the audience. That person should vote. No, Mr. Nithy's mad because we are making ones that actually match up with the phrase instead of just random bullshit. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. And the winning definition is... Give me them points. Give me all them points. Now let's do the other one. Narrow brunch. Sitting for sandwiches is the most important, right? A very quick snarky very lunch. Quick snarky lunch. A bunch of... A lunch of baguettes, churros, Montgomery, triple, a double XL, and frozen burritos. A quickie or before... A quickie before your break is over. Mmm. You gotta be faster go than that, Jason. Pick your favorite. Pick the definition well, pick you think favorite. should be recorded in the official dictionary. Wait, why can't I vote on this one? Maybe because you won the last one? No, it just I had to refresh my browser. Oh. is <laughs> Wow, Arnold Mage got a lot of hearts. All right, round two. Now come up with a new phrase that matches the definition on your device. Quickly, quickly, right, right, right.
The timer is low. Submit now. Submit now. Now you should submit. Woohoo! Let's check them out. Woohoo! Choose the slang phrase that best fits the definition. Hmm. I mean, Mr. Andy, I don't know if that's a problem. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's just part of, an element of the game is the social aspect where you have to be cognizant of who you're playing with. Yeah, I mean, it, it applies to all these type of games, like Apples to Apples and uh, Cards Against Humanity and uh, even the original Baller Dash had a similar thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't win this one. I did tie when for first, tie, though. I picked my favorite. Oh, yeah. Computer what? picked Everybody's me. Wrong. Kraken won. <laughs> the Kraken won that one. The audience you know what to decided. Do? Vote again. Ah! I keep forgetting that I can vote. Thank you very much, Scott. That's true, Mr. Unity. You do have to kind of get a feel for how the group's going to play it. Weirdly, this group went with filthy and sarcastic. And the winner is... My fields yeah, are fuck barren! <laughs> That's pretty good. I like my fields are fuck barren. I would say that. Oh, I've moved to second place. <laughs> Slipping, Jason. Obviously, it's the audience. Use this I slang always in win. The sentence. Write a sentence with your new piece of slang. Mm -hmm. The sentence you're working on right now is perfect. Keep going. Don't doubt yourself. Exactly, Scott. The end is near. Hit submit. Here we go. Hope you all are ready. Let us behold the sentences. <laughs> I like that one. Ooh, that's good Pretty to do. Shitty teenage no. That's not bad. Are you looking at Twitch again, James? What? No, maybe. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> Whoa! Now let's vote. Man, I do enjoy a good rhyme. Hmm, that's tough though. It, yeah, it, you do have to give the rhyme some, at least some respect. Good job, Mr. Slippery. And most favorite sentence is. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I 
crazy. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that one. <laughs> it's time to vote. I like it. I'm really actually digging this music. I do enjoy the music. Or you'll be in big trouble. You'll be in big trouble. Vote, vote. If you haven't voted yet, vote, vote now. Vote, 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 vote. Oh no, I forgot to vote. I forgot to vote. Will I make it in time? Oh wait, no, I did. I, I voted. You spoke. We listened. Yes. The winning sentence is. I am the winner. Uh, I resent that I gave you points. <laughs> An impeccable entry in the dictionarium. My fields are fuck barren. I like that. I like that. And voila! You've made an important contribution to the history of language. But now, let's see who won. <laughs> Mr. Rooney, I have no idea because I'm not generally good at this type of game. Uh, Kraken can attest, like when I used to play Jackbox with him, it was. I was almost always at the bottom. Come back soon. So I just found a new word. It's big and it's wet. Wait, I thought we had family friendly on. <laughs> the game Hi, Mr. Jason. Well, it causes much hilarity. I must disappear. Yes, I this was so much fun, guys. Quickly, no, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, thank you, everyone. Glad. Thank you, everybody. Oh, and please remember, folks, uh, if you remember any highlights from this evening that you think people would enjoy, pulling some out for us uh, to share with folks over the week, I will do. Uh, and that would be awesome because I think this is actually, I don't know, I think for a first uh, try, this was super successful. Yeah, I no, I agree. Time. I'd agree, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think uh, so tomorrow. Um, I think we'll be either streaming. Oh, Jack of Joe Wagon. Jack of Joe Wagon, thank you so much. That was awesome. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, same time, uh, we are going to be streaming um, either Dungeons and Lesbians, more of that, or Extreme Meat Punks Forever, um, or both. Nice. Um, and uh, the Jackbox thing worked out so well this time that uh, we may do some more Jackbox uh, tomorrow as well. Um, but I'm really glad everybody showed up. And uh, let me look and see who we can raid. Um, oh, and remember to uh, drop by Sunday for the live test kitchen on Hand to Mouth Club here on Twitch. I will be doing uh, a fridge raid with an Ultra TSAP member, member uh, obviously Michael. So we should be having a lot of fun. Okay, we are going to be raiding uh, my friend Milky Puff here in Tokyo. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. See you later. Thank you so much, James. Oh, I forgot, like, when you decide to really do it, like, live streaming is pretty intense. But that was fun, man. Uh, I feel like that worked really well, uh, actually. Um, I'm, I'm pleased. I think the direction pushes well, and it, it, it's easy to promote because it's kind of clear as to what makes it different. You know yeah, what I mean? no, totally. Uh, so hopefully...